Okay, we're here in Bergen County, New Jersey, Lodi, New Jersey. Look at these sides. Look at this. Department of Public Works doesn't even bother to plow the sides. Look at this. Look at these mountains of snow. Look at this. All right. Now, you know the cars leave the house. And they have an opportunity to plow the sides, to restore parking spaces, instead of people having to, um, you know, uh, uh, hold their parking spots by putting uh, plastic chairs and whatever, garbage cans just to hold it. Like this, right here. Just to hold their parking spaces. It's unnecessary. Department of Public Works, look at this. They, look, the streets are so narrow. Look at this, they don't even bother. Here's another example, people have to put parking cones to save their spots, their hard earned parking spots. I don't blame them. Look at this. All this mountain of snow could be plowed. All this mountain of snow can be plowed. Look at this. There's no reason, there's no excuse. Look at this Matterhorn. Look at this Matterhorn of snow. Look at this, somebody's driveway, right? All this could be plowed. Great job to have, Department of Public Works. Real cushy job. All right. Unbelievable. Just a little update from Mega Life 21. Okay, it just happens to be Saturday afternoon, February 22nd, 2014. And February is almost over with, and I'm glad about that. I was glad about January getting out of here, but you know what? What? Next week is going to be just like January. The polar vortex is returning Wednesday with, with snow. Well, it's too, it's too far to tell the magnitude of what we're going to get next Wednesday, but the polar vortex is returning. See, with the polar vortex, 40 degrees or 50 degrees Fahrenheit is the new 80 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> because it's, it feels like, it feels literally, when you go from the teens and sub-zero temperatures, and, all, and it goes up to 40 or 50 degrees, it feels like, summer vacation right. it feels great yeah <laughs> I mean it, 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 it is the new 80 it's relative you know I, I, it's like a heat wave in uh, Yukon territory Alaska you know yeah, uh, that, saw yeah Greenland one or Green two single digit days next week at night single di back to the single digits that's my now what, what they had a problem here in New Jersey uh, recently was black ice, which is far worse than snowfall. We have it every night because everything that melts during the day freezes up at night. And there has been serious accidents, as always, with black ice. And four-wheel drive SUVs mean nothing when it comes to ice. I don't care how many drives you have. You, you need a tank. Well, you know those, uh, that the thing uh, a couple of weeks ago down in North Carolina with that highway. Yeah. Well, those people don't have snow tires. They don't put those stinking to snow tires on down there. No, hell no, not in North Carolina. So they're just uh, sitting ducks. I mean, yeah. snow tires are a little, they give you a little bit. But in the old days, we had chains. I was just gonna now mention Now we can't that. have chains anymore. Why not? Because it rips up the highway. 
Oh, you can only have chains in and like... And the studs, remember the studs? Yeah. yeah. You can only have the chains on the tire in parts of the world where you have thick ice and snow and, and the and the asphalt, any asphalt roads are not going to be affected. Like, for instance, the, the Rocky movie when Stallone uh, went to uh, Siberia to train and, and the they were following him around, mm -hmm. watching him and the car in Siberia, the Russians had chains around their tire. Yeah, well, the, the plows have chains on. The, well, yeah, well, why. that's different. I mean, if, if, but you can't. You know what? The weather. Stay home. The weather's been so insane. That's the answer. Here in the Northeast, with the uh, global, uh, with the uh, climate change, <coughs> we'll call it that. Uh, but uh, oh, let me formally introduce ourselves and and what the show is. Uh, mm. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. Uh, I am your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life Twenty One. And I am here at the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. And uh, we always start the show in a very like, informal way because the show, deliber deliberately, the show is not rehearsed. There's no scripts. It's totally ad-libbed and, and for good reason. And, uh, but anyway, uh, let me formally pipe aboard my co-host and mentor. And the um, the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, with my authentic bosun's whistle. Ah, <whistles> welcome aboard our progressive liberal starship, Censored. The one and only, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Pretty good. Pretty good. Good. That's good to hear. But you could be honest. Like like Cher said on a David Letterman show, if somebody uh, asked you, how are you doing? Hey, I'm pretty good. how you doing? I just want the winter over with. You tell people the truth. Don't That's just all. say, you know, one time I said uh, to somebody, uh, I'm hanging in there. Uh, and their answer was, oh, you're only hanging in there? Oh, no, I'm, I'm on top of the world. I would have said, well, you a bat? You just hanging in there? If I won the Powerball or the oh. Mega Millions lottery, I wouldn't just be hanging in there. Well, one person won it. But I wouldn't, tell, I wouldn't tell anybody and I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would have a poker face. You never let too many people know you have money. Because then everybody, every Tom, Dick, and Harry, every scammer. You mean will, to tell me that everybody will like suck up and be nice and sycophants? Yeah. Sycophanting. Sycophanting. The Human Centipede Award on the Progressive Discussions Group in on Facebook. I have the Human Centipede Award. You know the Human Centipede from the horror movie, based on a true story. The guy sewed. Uh, people's mouths, to other people's asses, to other people's mouths to ass, mouths to ass. This was a movie. Mouth to ass. Well, they made a movie out of it. But it's supposed to be true. I don't think so. He sewed mouth to ass. So one, so one person ate food. The guy in the front, or the woman. The one behind got their their food was fecal matter. Pre-digested. The, the one behind him was fecal matter. Fecal matter. Fecal matter. Fecal matter. Fecal matter. Mm -hmm. So the only person who got food was the, the one in the front. How privileged they were. Right? Sounds like our uh, setup for our society. Yes. The Republican which is rich, rich get all the food, Cap and we get the the uh, faces. The fecal, the feces. Yeah, fecal. Well, it's capitalism. Yeah. Oh, before I forget, before I read some stuff, uh, I heard. I don't know how true this is, but. Uh, uh, weeper of the house, John Bonehead Boner Boehner, made a statement that he would rather die than raise the minimum wage. So, my answer to him, besides you know, uh, if you have trouble uh, creating your own demise, I'm sure many really? people will help you do so. Uh, yeah, but he did say a oh. clean. So that means he might he might uh, pass one. If he gets some things that he wants, but or they want. Does John Boehner and any Republican actually think that the mainstream masses would 
would comply with a no. minimum wage job without complaining and without without being spiteful and without any retribution at all? People would roll out of bed and actually work hard for minimum wage? In America, maybe. While these people in Washington are hardly working, getting over 175000 a year, or not counting perks? Yes, they do. They expect that. Ah. They expect that. And it's doing well because uh, the, the, in this the, the little guy's pension is gone, his 401ks are gone, they're robbing here, they're robbing there, they want to rob uh, Social Security. Uh, Obama just comes up with his new budget and it says this chain CPI will not be part of the budget. Oh, whoop de doo! Big freaking deal! They're giving it us. It wasn't supposed to be there in the first freaking They're giving place. us crumbs. Crumbs, like my grandfather used to say, we're getting crumbs, and That's you know because all of them are corporate whores. Jesse, but Jesse Ventura po posted a uh, a banner where it's got a like a um, a poll a voting booth checkbox, and it says Republican, Democrat, and 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 it's checked where it says. Uh, uh, Awake, I'm awake. <laughs> and, then, and he, what he, what, and then what it said on the bottom, the bottom is, well, why does it have to be, two, why do you have to vote for the two-party system? Or why does the awake section? We don't know about the people who are there because they don't get invited to the debates. The Jill Steins, the Rocky Andersons, the William J. Eisenman. They don't know. They weren't on Gary. Uh, Gary Knoll was the only one who. Who, who yeah. gave them some face time. The only thing mainstream media, the only people mainstream media had was the two-party system. Yes, it's locked up, it's rigged. And the two-party system both uh, receive massive campaign contributions from uh, the elitists, from the uh, corporations. Okay, uh, we got her off track because uh, Watching this video, I mean, watching this show for this week, you first saw a video by myself, done by me. Okay, uh, it, it is part of the Chisler's Hall of Shame, uh, which is uh, consumer related. And um, this video I, I titled Incompetent Cronyism which you have often in uh, local government mm. and even higher up. Ah. Incompetent Crony cronyism. capitalism, it's all over the place. And this would be incompetent cronyism on a small local level because we, we're having a very, very bad winter this year. Uh, and uh, I showed everyone, uh, of course, you saw it also, a uh, road bill, uh, the um, conditions <clears throat> in our local uh, municipality where um, the Department of Public Works in Lodi, New Jersey, Bergen County, uh, even though they, they did plow the center of the road, they also plowed everyone's car in, and when the cars leave home, they do not plow the sides, which are, have, you know, built up to mountainous proportions. And, and, and of course there's less and less parking spaces every time it snows and every time they plow the, the center and, and do not plow the sides, it builds up to the point where there's even less and less parking and eventually no parking and people have to save their spots with a parking cone or a garbage can or, or a lawn chair or something because you know you bust your ass digging your car out and I don't blame them. Um, it's particularly bad for older folks, for senior citizens, to be out there shoveling and chopping. You know, it's not, it's dangerous, it's not mm -hmm. good. So, as you saw, the snow was absolutely mountainous. This was the day after the last snowfall, which we had recently, but now the temperature shot up. So I just wanna show people that watch progressive discussions um, an example of local government incompetent cronyism. So, shame on you, the first inductee, 
would be the Lodi, New Jersey, Bergen County uh, Department of Public Works into the Chisler's Hall of Shame. Okay. Now, I have um, a question um, for teabaggers and for all Americans that actually make it to the uh, voting booths, uh, the people that actually vote. Because if you do not vote, then you have no right to publicly complain. You should vote. I don't care who you vote for, you should be there and vote. Um, it's, it's a disgrace that, what was it, th only 30% made it to the polls for the last presidential election? No, in the pre I think in the presidential one, the, the uh, 2012, I think it was over half, oh, okay. close to half. Oh, well. Yeah, because uh, Obama won by like six or seven yeah. million. And and of course Republicans uh, want to discourage uh, people living in poor neighborhoods and ghettos. Uh, they don't want to discourage them. They're making it illegal. This uh, disabled people, seniors, they want to keep anybody who normally votes Democrat mm -hmm. from reaching the polls. That's great. Yes, they have all kinds the of tricks. The old uh, voting issues of the South, they had brought up here yeah. to the North and etc. They had all the tricks, all the, the, the boss hog, uh, you know, uh, corrupt Southern sheriff uh, <laughs> and, you know, mayors and everything. All, all the tricks uh, that are up the right wing sleeves are all coming out and being mm -hmm. applied to prevent the little guy from voting. Right, because the, the Republicans can no longer they can no longer uh, give their people and the Democrats and independents policies right. that they would like and vote for. Unless they lie, of course. Like Mr. Scott Walker right. of Wisconsin. Yeah, he's got some scandals uh, leaking out, some skeletons falling out of his closet. However, when he was running, he never said what he wanted to do that he ended up doing. Oh. Okay. It's the same thing like the, um, the bills under G.W. Bush. The Clear Skies Amendment. It has nothing to do with clear Which allowed more arsenic, which allowed you know, pollution. They, they, they cannot tell the truth. Or the right to work. Hey, it sounds positive. Uh -huh, yes, it sounds that's positive, it. like the Clear Skies Amendment, but it's not. <laughs> right. It's not positive. So they can't get people into their fold through policies. Yeah. So they have to use scare tactics. They have to uh, they have to cut down the Democratic pool of voters. Hey, did you see the new Chris Christie doll uh, that was uh, that was made by this uh, uh, Hispanic gentleman in Miami, Florida? I believe there's a new Chris Christie doll. It's called the Chris Christie Bridgegate doll. I think I did. Yeah. It, it, it's it's hilarious. He has a parking cone for a hat. <laughs> and it's like it's, it's like bent. I was working the cones that day. Well, it looks like a it looks like a, a like a uh, the the hat of a gnome. Yeah, yeah. a gnome, but you know it's bent. Yeah. And, but it's a parking cone. But I would have made him fatter. The doll has a big fat face, but the body he was being kind with the body. You know, he well, actually wait a minute. I saw him recently. And he may have lost a little more weight. Yeah, but if you want to do a doll, it's supposed to be, especially if was. it's a Bridgegate doll, it's supposed to be a caricature, which means you have to exaggerate mm -hmm. on a person's negative physical attributes. So you, you make him fat, you make him obese like he used to be. It's like if, if a person has big ears, a caricature drawing would make the ears humongous, like Dumbo. That's what you're supposed to do. But anyway, my question on everything we just said is to you Americans, whether you be a teabagger or not, you have to ask yourself, is the proof is, first of all, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. And the question is, is your life any better now as a result of the people you elected? Question. Is it? Is it? That's what you have to ask yourself before you vote for anybody. It is for the top 20%. Not for the little schmuck, not right. for the little teabagger out west and down south in, in, in the so-called Bible Belt states. 
which they know nothing, uh, you know, they, their religion is a cult, and they know nothing about the God of the Bible anyway, and what's in the Bible, but they call it the Bible Belt State, you know, I mean, they know nothing about it, um, it, it it's totally insane, um, you know, it's, uh, I watched it's, a, it's, uh, it's like Bachman when she said uh, Jesus spoke English and wrote, Oh well, the yeah, there's, it's in red in the Bible, isn't it? Wait, one of those nincompoops <laughs> on Fox recently said that God wrote the Constitution. Oh my God! Some some yeah, it was somebody on Fox actually. I, <laughs> you know what? If I was a, a, a stand-up comic, I would have there will be there will be no end to material. Well, concerning Republicans. This is the thing about Republicans. Republicans have, they have uh, gotten God as a front man. God is non-political, not a respecter of persons. No, you're right. But they have made him political. And he's a conservative. And he likes what we do. And he wants us to make the government smaller. And he wants us to save money. And he doesn't want us to spend money on unemployment insurance and food stamps, etc. They're not fiscally conservative, by the way. They, 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 they just redirect the money. Yeah. To well, their pockets, number one. To their rich friends, number two, in, in corporate welfare. And to, the, and to mi war profiteering with the military. Speaking of that, he w it was said the other day that we could actually uh, get along our defense budget on $200 billion a year. Right now we're spending $1.5 trillion when you add it all up. Why is there any money being spent on weapons that are never used? Or will never most be likely used. be used? Yeah. Because it keeps the contractors in business. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, I, I have a statement. It's actually a very positive suggestion by myself, James P. Madonna, and I think I, I think it, it's very doable, and uh, it should be done. And uh, I think it's a pretty cool idea. And this is my idea. Every school in America should have an additional course uh, in the curriculum. Every school in America should have a uh, an herb and vegetable garden. There's, there's, there's a lot, usually a lot of land around most schools, you know. Uh, I mean, so instead of having uh, all the land for, uh, just for landscapers to come along and, 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 and cut the grass uh, once a week, I mean, take a, a portion of it, a large portion of it, and teach children how to grow their own uh, vegetables, herbs, possibly uh, a couple fruit trees, you know, how to learn how to, how to uh, work their own victory garden. And my, my uh, other suggestion that is, this, is very similar is that America's parks should also plant many different kinds of fruit trees according to the location of the park according to the climate the environment of the park you know uh, like if you're in the north have plant pears and apples and, and berry trees cherry trees whatever in the park I mean why waste land and all the produce this is the point I'm getting at all the produce from the school gardens and the fruit f from the little orchards at the at the parks are donated to the soup kitchens to help and the food pantries to help feed the poor and the homeless and this is the reason why I came up with this is because for the first time in America a specific park in the Seattle Washington area is doing this very thing and it is uh, to provide free food for the poor and the homeless. So could you imagine if every school had a course in victory gardening and every park had fruit trees? Okay. Could you, could you imagine how much, and this on top of uh, restaurants donating food that's 
eh, you know, let's say they got a buffet and the food's a little wilty, but it's not rotten. It's just, you know, a little... Instead of throwing it away or slopping the hogs with it, like they do in Nevada, I suggest you take everything, lock, stock, and barrel, and there's your food for the pantries and soup kitchens. However... Is there a cat here? Yeah. Oh, it's a... Uh, uh, PC, I think, eh? No, no, it's yeah, PC. PC. Uh, all you need to do is take 175 billion dollars from the uh, defense budget. Yes. And uh, there will be no m more poor in America. Yes, that that's also true. But what do you think of my idea of all these victory gardens and have the kids work it and and get and get school credit from it? Well, for that part part of it, yes. And you could also uh, make the roofs of the schools into a solar panels. No. Oh yes, a, yeah, garden. Into a farm. Yeah, like some people yeah. in uh, New York and the City. Windows, window boxes. New York. I don't like window boxes. It's well, too, it's not a matter of a like. It's, it's a matter too, of getting it's, food. It's too limited. A roof, a rooftop garden is an excellent idea uh -huh. if you do not have any real estate to plant it. Yeah. But you know, the kids will be learning how to work a garden. You know, so they can do it at home. That's the whole idea. They get school credit for it, and the produce goes to the soup kitchens, the local soup kitchens, and 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 they're just doing a nice thing. And uh, and the um, and the uh, the town can use the costs of the uh, garden tools and and the seeds and the fertilizer, and I guess they can write it off. They can get a sub uh, some kind of. The elites won't like that because it's spending money on that stuff. They don't like to spend money yeah, on Yeah, but schools. they like to spend money on, on their own pocket, don't they? Yes, but not on schools. Well, who cares what the hell they like and what they don't like? Well, the voters obviously care because the voters outnumber them, but they don't show it. They never show That's it. That's because the voters do not hold their feet to the fire, like Jesse Ventura says hold their friggin' feet to the fire, show up at the town hall meetings yelling, mm. um, uh, what else, flood your, uh, even though it doesn't do any good, mm. flood your local congressman or senator with emails and letters. Hey, I sent Robert Menendez of New Jersey an, a nice email, and I just got an automated uh, thank you for sending yeah. Thank you for sending it. Yeah, of course. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't personally from him. It was like an automated. All right, we appreciate you. He's sent too something. busy, man. He's too busy. He's to too busy for the people that elected him. I mean, hey. the same thing goes for Republicans too. They, I, I'm sure they do the same thing. I mean, yeah. you know, they have a website, and of course, in the website, they say you're free to donate to yeah. to my future. I guess campaign. Uh -huh. uh, you know, all donations are welcome, but you don't get any personal service. It's it's kind of like calling a, a company nowadays, a customer service. And uh, a friend of mine who is an administrator on the uh, Progressive Discussions uh, group, uh, Mike uh, Rebel Carmen, hey, had hey. Uh, posted something about, you know. It pisses them off when you call customer service and 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 you're trying to get the an answer from them, and all they do is recite something from the. Your call is important to us. Well, the computer monitor. Like in other words, if, if it's product information, and you have a, a dilemma. Press one. They don't. They don't have any expertise in answering questions. They just go to the computer, and they try to look up your problem. And see if there's an answer, and there's usually a pre-made uh, mm -hmm. answer to your question. Yeah, troubleshooting, a pre-made troubleshooting. Troubleshooting, yeah. like everybody else has. Facebook because has. They don't want to pay any IT guy what he's worth. They don't want to pay a real knowledgeable customer service representative or a product information mm -hmm. person that really knows the product. Right. You know they don't want to do that, and uh, so all well done on the cheap. Yeah. So that's it. That's that's your capitalism for you. Your Yankee Doodle Dandy. Uh, well, that's because the, the 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 most of the people they don't recognize the flaws within their economic system because they have over the years, much like with religion, they have wrapped it all up 
in patriotism. And it's and only an idiot, uh, like many Americans uh, out yonder, would fall for it, would believe the bullshit. Well, they do. No matter how stupid it sounds, they fall for it and they believe it because they like, uh, it seems like they vote based on emotion. Fear, a, a, a hype, you know, like a, a Republican loves to generate fear, like if you don't vote mm -hmm. for me, this is what might happen. Like Dick Cheney did. If you vote for him, you're going to get hit again. Oh yeah, remember that. Another 911 if you vote for that guy. But if you vote, if you vote for the Republican, you're going to get hit with another war profiteering phony war. <laughs> and, 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 and you're going to get hit with no unemployment insurance and, and uh, uh, less social security and no food stamps and no welfare, no nothing. I saw a figure the other day, the Iraq war and the Afghanistan war have cost the United States six trillion dollars. We always seem to find the money for war but we can't find it for education and food. And for for the people that make up the United States, the eighty percent, the yes. little the little guy. Yeah. You know, this uh, this whole routine. You know, some people say, "Oh, education's the answer." Oh, really? It's the answer, huh? Okay. You decide what your skills are as a as a, a kid in school. You pick a a college, let's say, you, let's say you graduate pretty with pretty gr pretty high grades in high school, you do well, you pick a college. Now, most cases, if you're not born with a silver spoon in your mouth, you have to get a student loan. So you get an astronomical student loan for the highway robbery uh, tuition to go to school in America, and you go to school. Now you're in deep debt. You you graduate and you find that there's really no jobs out there and the, everything is super competitive and uh, you can't afford to pay your student loan back and you gotta pay it back with interest and all companies... And you can't discharge it in bankruptcy. Right, correct. And, and on top of that companies in America do not want to hire entry-level applicants fresh out of school they don't want that they say you gotta have you have to have five years plus experience with the training or the education so they want experience with training but how do you get experience without a job how do you get a job without experience it's like the old commercial well that's what the schooling used to uh, provide in in a way and and of course, apprenticeships. There's no start anymore. Like There's no way to start no, anymore. No, no start. So you. So what happens is and you're that's stuck. Why people are sitting home right now? You're stuck. Employed. You're stuck without a job, and uh, you're stuck with your unemployment uh, running out, and uh, you and can't not pay. Being renewed. You can't. And that's right. And you have. You can't pay the uh, student loan, and you got bill collectors uh, hounding you, Sleeping and uh, if you can't go bankrupt. Yeah. That kind of mean. Does that mean that? Don't get a fresh start. But does that mean the cease and desist letter won't work? Not for that. Because it worked for other people. Not for that. Not for student loan, right? No. So you got to put up. You got. You got to keep on dodging the bill collectors. My understanding today is that in a bankruptcy, you will pay something every month, no matter what. You will not get a fresh start. You know, uh, like I, I know someone that uh, told me their uh, they uh, the bank, the credit card uh, organization issuer. Uh, uh, issuer said that they are not pursuing the money any any longer because they are writing off the individual on their taxes. That's as, pretty old stuff. As a loss. Yeah, that's pretty old stuff. But now new is that you will pay. Let me so guess, much. the Republicans came up with that idea. And their corporate ass-kissing friends, the Democrats? Speaking of... Remember! Speaking of you will... Oh, the, the, the sellout, traitorous, blue dog Democrats. Yeah. 
course how, it is. How can I forget? But uh, 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 you have to pay, they say. Well, what about the, the rich that have been on a tax vacation for the past 30 no, years? No, 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 no. What about no, them no, paying? No. They do not pay. Why? Because, because they, they think they're better than us? Because all the laws for the last 35, 40 years have been in a biased fashion towards the elites. Yeah. They don't want any mo money going to those below the elites. There's no trickle down happening. That's correct. There was a, there's none of that because that only makes them more powerful. Well, this is the two-party system that J Jesse Ventura warned you about. There is a... And, and Gary, no. And it's, it's not a conspiracy theory and all this other... No, crap. it's reality. There is a deliberate action going on behind the scenes to totally bankrupt America. Well, isn't, isn't that part of their plan to shrink government down to nothing? Well... To totally bankrupt it America? It would be nothing if it were bankrupt, wouldn't it? I plus, mean, we're bankrupt now. Plus, they want desperate people that would work as slaves. Close, yeah. close. Hey, what do you think these privatized prisons are all about? That's what it's all about. Free, free, legal slave labor. What do you think that the uh, detention camp camps that will be all around the United States? It's already in in uh, in law that how they are going to take care of the situation if the public becomes rambunctious. Yeah, very. It will be what the late great Grandpa Al Lewis says about the asses of the masses with torches and pitchforks. They sort of cut the balls off Occupy Wall Street, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, uh, on the Progressive Discussions Facebook group, uh, Mr. C. J. Adams made a statement that pissed off some of the ladies. Uh -huh. He says that if you if you let all the uh, prisoners uh, from free from if you free the prisoners from prison mm -hmm. that uh, are there because of uh, marijuana possession, marijuana offenses, uh, all of these people are only going to go on welfare anyway. You made a comment like that, like, uh, <clears throat> in other words, what's so great about freeing them? They're, they're a bunch of bums that are going to go on again, welfare. Again, again, the man is disingenuous. I, they, because they call him a troll. Any person who worries about uh, welfare and giving to the poor, etc., and does not, does not target the defense budget and the other Exxon Mobil, the subsidies and the tax loopholes, and etc., they rarely who do. doesn't target that is a piece of crap and a liar. And a, a liar. Yeah, yeah they, they are, they very rarely target. Uh, the f corporate fat cats yeah, very rarely that's where you go first you don't keep on blaming like the Republicans you don't keep on blaming the, the poor, poor the poor the welfare cheat yeah. the welfare queen mm -hmm. the this to that the other thing oh those 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 damn illegal immigrants yeah but the Republicans would hire them to landscape their homes and clean their swimming pools and cook for them and do housework and clean for them if they can get them for less than minimum wage, yeah. which they do, and oh, they, they like illegal it. immigration. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Hypocrites is what they are, That's my why friend. why you'll never get a fix. They're hypocrites, and unfortunately, many of these um, many Americans that are out in the the rural parts of the of the country, you know, in the uh, protect our borders. Yeah, out west and down south, and these people like your your Ted Nugents. Oh, uh, Mr. Teddy had to apologize to Mr. Obama the other day. He also has he did it quite reluctantly. He also uh, he did. Uh, I heard rumors. I don't know how true it is. He adopted a a minor a female because he wanted a like a, a sex a sex concubine in, in his house. I have no I inkling of like that. Him. Well. I just know he's a mouth. And yeah, he, he really he, he re has no basis. He in what he acts. He, he made a very racial statement. And he was a lousy rocker towards. Yeah, what did he write? Cat scratch fever. 
Jeez. Well, yeah, he made a ter he, he said a horrible thing about President Obama, which made Republicans look even more racist than they are. Well, oh, worry, there people will forget about it in a week or two. But these rednecks do not think of their very survival and their standard of living, their cult. They're more obsessed with gay people and and abortion than they are about their own survival and and their own well-being. Well, again, as I say, they have to vote for the, uh, Republicans because uh, the Republicans are not like the Democrats who are atheists, secular humanists, what about, and baby killers. What about, uh, what about a roof over their head, food on the table, their health care, their you know what? survival of their they family? They do that because they are individuals. They do it? Yes. How do they do it? I have no idea. Then how they're, they're usually on they're usually on welfare. Then, or on then how come how come many of these uh, red states are amongst uh, America's poorest, poorest states? Exactly. Poorest states. Exactly. And they're on Social Security, yeah. and they bitch about it. Anyway, let us think. It's our, the old. We're losing old, time here, friend. It's the old story about people who. Who, who, who bite off their nose to spite their face. I know. My grandfather used to say that. Say that. He, also, he also used to say, you are your own worst enemy. Yes, you are. In many uh, instances. And then there are people who are penny wise and pound foolish. Republicans are supposed to be fiscally conservative? No, that stuff is gone. They, they, even David Stockman. David Stockman's the, David Stockman, Ronald Reagan's uh, uh, budget uh, guy over there. He, he now says that there are no fiscal Republicans and conservatives. None. Period. Yeah, all right. That's they are all for big government. All hey, of them. Speaking of, of uh, uh, sellout blue dog Democrats, what, uh, what's with this Al Franken? He's, uh, hey. he's sponsored by the sugar industry? Sugar industry, yes. Senator Al Frankenberry of Minnesota. One of the big, uh, the guy who had the, the, one of the biggest blowhorns uh, defending uh, liberalism. Uh, has kept very quiet since uh, he was elected, and now he's behind the sugar industry. Well, shame uh, on you, Chisler's Hall of Shame, second inductee, Al Franken. Mm -hmm. Cat scratch fever, da na na na, cat scratch fever. So our congressmen and senators have decided to trim the federal budget on the backs of the working poor, the disabled, children, and the elderly by cutting eight billion dollars from the federal government food stamp assistance program. Snap. This was done with the recent passing in both chambers of the farm bill. It affects more than 47 million people and equals a loss of 21 meals a month or $36 a month for a family of four who receive assistance from what is officially called the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, according to the nonprofit charity agency FeedingAmerica.org. Hmm. In the meantime, the Pentagon's budget for the last fiscal year was five hundred and thirty one billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Really? Well, not really. It's more like one point five trillion dollars when it's all put together and added up. It's like the phony uh, unemployment rate is much higher than what they say. Correct. The, 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 the unemployment rate is somewhere around twenty one, twenty two percent. Why don't they just come clean and say that? Wow, my God! I think then it'll make it'll make the you might have some rambunctious people in the street. It'll make it'll make the, the current administration look bad if they if they any came, administration any administration. And remember, the current administration inherited all of this. Didn't cause it. Mm -hmm. Inherited it. Inherited it. Thank you. In the meantime, I read that, thank you, while the eight billion cut from the SNAP program is only less than two percent 
of the Pentagon's overall budget. And that is not counting the excess waste and mismanagement in the Dep Defense Department. Now, I heard a figure the other day that the Defense Department cannot account for, cannot find trillions and trillions of dollars. A much respected and well admired Republican once said, quote, Every man, every gun that is made or every warship that is launched, every rocket that is fired, signifies in the final sense a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and are not clothed. Is that Barry Goldwater? Unquote. No. That's my lousy Dwight. D. Eisenhower. Oh, oh, Dwight D. Eisenhower said that. <laughs> but Barry Goldwater was uh, was a more of a moderate Republican, right? Barry Goldwater. Barry Goldwater was wasn't no, a bad. He, was a, he wasn't a bad dude. Are you sure he was a Republican? Yeah, from Arizona. Well, too. he wasn't moderate then. He was a conservative. He was Barry Goldwater. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. All right. I I I'm not sure. Uh, what the hell was it? I think it was Barry Goldwater who said. That um, um, something in defense of liberty is not bad. Yeah, liberty meaning if 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 our borders and our freedom is threatened. No, liberty does not mean that stuff for the little guy. Liberty means for the big guys to make as much money as they can, and to make you pay for any problems that they uh, in other words, uh, occur in, other in words, them doing that. Acquiring freedom could be many things. In their case, it's but it's profit. not for the little guy. Well, well, he that so is just a platitude. So he's not guy. talking about liberty in terms of your life, your lifestyle being free. Uh, he's talking about the liberty to screw people for profit. Correct. He just doesn't say it that and, way. And to socialize the problems. In other words, make the taxpayer pay for. It any problems that occur. Sounds like a big corrupt system to me. Well, it sounds like a financial meltdown in 2008. It, it sounds uh, like capitalism uh, is, is and always was corrupt. Correct, because it has many flaws in it. And one of the flaws, as I keep saying, is the fact that it was not meant for the little guy. It was meant for people who already have. It's called capital, money. You know, it is a system which favors yeah. those who have money, capital. Any other people have to go to the bank and say, can you give me some money for my uh, a new business that I'd like to uh, 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 begin? No, get out of here. Get out of here, you little, you little twerp. How the hell? Does a person like Mark Zuckergeek Zucker go to a bank with the beak and tell them, I want to start a website called Facebook? I would say. Can you lend me the money to do say, so? I would say, listen, Mr. Fruit Loops, listen, Toucan, get the hell out of my office. And that's what they do. But he got money to start it. How did that occur? I think I, I think I know why, but I don't. But wanna, if I, I went to the say, bank and said the same thing, I wouldn't get the money. Uh, okay. He had look. He got he got a big break. This is what I try to tell these. Uh, I mean, where's his collateral? Th th this is where I try to tell. <coughs> I try to tell these uh, these poor tea baggers that are living paycheck to paycheck, but they're they're Republicans like Dan E. Mount. I try to tell Dan E. Mount, you don't become very rich and super successful in America without a person or people giving you big breaks. Standing on the shoulders of those who came before us. Or somebody just <laughs> flat out, you know, know, knowing the right person or meeting the right person at the right time 
and you know about who you know and just somebody doing you that big favor to get both feet in the door and you know I mean why, it's one thing to get one foot in the door and that's why there so, is something called crony capitalism now now uh, tea baggers they like help themselves tea baggers like Danny Mount he believes that bullshit about pulling yourself up by the bootstraps and going out there and getting a job go get a job go get a job and making it happen you you can't just I mean I was talking to uh, William H Morrow the third about that you can't just I mean it's good to be able to to be proactive and assertive and take the bull by the horns but there's only so much you can accomplish by doing that in order to really skyrocket you have to get a break from the right person who is in a high position. Crony capitalism. Crony capitalism. Cronyism. Is this this low grade cronyism? Uh, person, you know, personal, uh, um, personal accomplishments, and it is the local government cronyism, like I mentioned before, with the 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 the, uh, the, the beginning video, the opening video, and then there's uh, crony capitalism in Washington. Anyway, finish with this reading. When is a landslide a landslide? When it slides. Governor Christie's camp likes to crow about its margin of victory last November. Mm -hmm. Especially among voting demographics that traditionally go Democratic. That's true. New Jersey is traditionally a Democrat state, just like uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota. But the idiots voted Republicans in. But we now know that the state's Democratic leaders were pressured, intimidated. And why were they allowed and to be? And downright bullied. Why were they allowed? Why were these wimps, why were these spineless jellyfish allowed? I mean, why did they allow Christie to bully them? Into endorsing Governor Christie. I would have got nose to nose with him and said, you know, give you give He'd it your call best you an shot. Idiot. Give it your best shot. You're stupid. And then I would have said, you want to debate me? A national t on on uh, on New Jersey network. Yeah, I guess then he'd tell you about the jock he was in high school. Yeah. Yeah. Give it your best shot. I, be I bet he would he would totally run out of stamina in less than a minute. We now know why. Look at what apparently happened when the mayors of Fort Lee and Hoboken refused to kowtow to the sustained Christie assault. Kowtow, yeah. Well, they, he, he was they, vindictive. They were punished. They were punished. And innocent citizens paid the price. Yes. Ain't he, that the way it always is? Innocent people paid a price. They, he he withheld Sandy uh, relief funds. And the Bridgegate. And with Bridgegate. Um, Four days of tied up traffic. And the, and homeless people <laughs> from Sandy still have not received their still money. Still have not received their money. Almost a year and how many days? Uh, October, no, uh, November, December, January, February. A year and four months later. You think uh, Christie did a little uh, magician work and uh, made some of the money disappear? A lot of the money so far has gone to crony capitalism. Ah, greasing palms. That's correct. You do something very special for me, I will do something very special for you. You scratch my back, I'll scratch your ass. Cat scratch fever, da 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 da. As a result of all those endorsements, Many inquisitive voters who might otherwise have voted for Democrat Barbara Bono. Oh, she was great. Oh, she, did, uh, she kicked his ass in the two debates. Barbara Bono versus Chris Christie. But she lost by a landslide, you figure that. Were misled into voting for Christie. All that was so the government would have a bipartisan landslide. Yeah. Barbara Vic Bono made a mistake. It was a, a two as a two-woman campaign. She should have picked a man 
for lieutenant governor? Well, the because point. I don't think America is ready for a a total female controlled government. You know, a lot of men don't like that. That would make him seem like a moderate presidential candidate. Yeah. New Jersey doesn't need a bully as governor. I would hope the country wouldn't want a bully as president. Especially a bully. Bully, bully. Didn't bully, Teddy bully. Roosevelt say bully, bully? Bully, bully. Oh, uh, no, that's a song. That's a, said, uh, um, um, the thing is that... Um, Sam the Sham. Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. The Pharaoh. Bully, 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 bully. No, Christie, especially a governor that had has no idea what his people are doing behind his back, supposedly. Supposedly. Something yeah, outrageous, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like that. Listen, we're going to take a break <coughs> because it's time for the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight, known as lunch. And we will return, or I will return, with William H. Morrow III. Yes, he is back. And he's back. He's back. And uh, actually, William H. Morrow III and special guest, the fabulous Phil, will be with him. And after William H. Morrow III and the fabulous Phil, uh, with me interviewing them, uh, I'll try my best to uh, maintain uh, order and decorum because the both of them, man, they sure can talk. Um, oh boy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hard to get a word in edgewise. Uh, whatever that means, edgewise? edgewise? It means to slip a word in now and then. Yeah, which is what I try to, do, uh -huh. which is what I usually try to do with them. After uh, William Morrow and the, the, the fabulous Phil, I, we will go to promo our commercial and then back to this show. So. And the fabulous Moolah might show up. The fabulous Moolah? Yeah. The fabulous Phil? Bully, 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 bully. Eh, eh. Uh, I want to change the world. It's the end what? of the world as, as we, know, we it. know it. We're here right yeah. now with. I want, to get my, I want to get a final way where, these, where every step you take generates a charging site. Well, they have buoys. They have marine hydroelectric buoys. That's as they bob, they produce electricity. And the ocean is never dead still. Never. Like that too. A buoy? She was never dead still. I had her too. Good <laughs> Is that on tape? Just for the yeah. Yes, yeah. it is. You slip it in. They you take it yeah. to the Slip It In Motel. They go on the news today. They're coming with shoes that tie themselves. They said there was <laughs> like in the movies. If you got to pick up women, yeah, there's a couple words to say: banana, slippery, and wet. Or stupid lies. <laughs> like I, I just figured out I, I must, I must be made of ice. And the girl says, "Why?" I said, "Why? Well, you're making me melt." Oh. So uh, anyway, we're here. We're here with. We're, girls love you. We're here. If I can get a word in edgewise, you know. Let me let me formally start. Oh, we're here with. Otherwise, people would know who these Sorry, guys are. Don't explain to me. We're here right now with uh, a voiceover artist, William H. Morrow the Third, and uh, yes, he is back. He was. Uh, he took a, um, a brief temporary hyena, a hi hiatal hernia. I'm uh, not uh, hiatus. I'm sorry. He was on hiatus, and uh, he. He's back now with uh, our show, Progressive Discussions. Now, talking about oh, we Chris, have a special guest today. We have a special guest today, Phil Scaringi, Mr. Phil Scaringi from Rutherford. I'm not sure if you could hear him. You might. You might. Pick he, him he can't cook, cook a lick. He, yeah, he can't make a pork chop. He tried to be a baker, but oh, I'm, wonder, I'm a great cook. I'm since when does sponge cook. cake have real sponges? <laughs> I just started watching SpongeBob the other day. He's yeah, I watched that for two seconds and turned it off. I said, I can't stand this. You thing. remember the episode of the Three Stooges when they were cooking, they were preparing for this big party, and um, and uh, I think uh, Larry said to Curly, "We need some shaved ice." And Larry gets a block of ice and he gets shaving cream and he starts shaving, you know, creaming up the ice and. And he takes a straight razor and he says, hey, you come here often? You know, to the, to the block of ice. Well, I also sort of like when Curly said, hey, Mo, I just got back from Paris. Mo says, yeah, what'd you see? He goes, Paris sites. <laughs> <laughs> Larry says to Mo, how do you like, hey, Mo, how do you like your eggs? He says, sunny side down, but don't turn them over. Now, Laura and Hardy were great. One episode, they were trying to break into a house. A cop comes up. He says to Hardy, the heavy one, well, okay, pal, where do you live? Hardy says, I'm not saying. He looks at uh, 
uh, Laurel. And he goes, I've had enough. Where do you live? He goes, right next to him. <laughs> So the old stuff is still, still the best. St uh, Oliver Hardy got real pissed at Stan Laurel when he says, well, if you won a million dollars, what would you do with your money? He says, I'd buy a million dollars worth of chocolate ice cream. And he, he like, flip, flipped out on him. I don't know how true it was, but I heard that they were hard to, he was, Stan Laurel was hard to get along with. I don't know if it was true or not. He looks like a pain in the ass. He has a like account accountant uh, look to him, you know, like a like a Woody Allen kind of a geekish. Woody Allen's like paranoid all the time, though. <laughs> yeah. Woody yeah. Allen, imagine hanging out with him. Yeah. I bet he doesn't shake hands with anybody. No, no, not him so bad as uh as uh what's his name? Howard Stern. No. Donald Trump. No, the guy on one of, one of the singing shows. Howie Mandel. Mandel. Howie Mandel. He won't he's shake germaf hands. He's germaphobe. He won't shake hands with no, anybody. He doesn't like to touch people. He just didn't. He just thought, hey, bacteria's gonna get me. No, he's scared to death of it. Or I'm gonna die. <laughs> imagine if he has. How much cleaning can you do? It's like. Well, imagine if he has a change of diaper on his kids. What about what about hoarders? They're even they're the horrible. Best way to clean is what steam. Let's talk about steam. The steam is your best way to sanitize, it really sterilize, it's and it's totally alive. chemical free. And it's chemical free. It's the best. Hydrogen yeah, peroxide. It's everywhere. It's yeah. Out of the wall. Yeah. <coughs> and, it's the, and you just hook it in. That's the future. And just come around and you're done. Or make it portable. Portable. You come in here, you think it's dirty, we just pull it out like the size of your phone. It's in your coat. There you go. Don't use my ideas. No, I won't. You know how many companies have you stolen ideas and inventions? You know how many companies have stolen and... and you know how many I 28. Out? And never got, got a call back? I get this one outfit that keeps one. It was the one that keeps bugging the shit out of me. You have the 15,000, they're out. Oh, no, 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 never pay up front. Right. No, that's a scam. I was on the phone about that's seven years ago, and I said to I said to the kid, Jason, I don't, there's no way I can come up with that kind of money. It was right at the part yeah. of the recession, 2007. You shouldn't, they should come up with the money to develop it. I said, it. Um, are you willing to back me, like the Shark Tank? Uh, I said, would yeah. you negotiate 50-50? Yeah. 99, I'll take 1%. I don't care. And I go, you know, you guys should operate a little bit more music friendly, like Disney World, I was telling my roots. They sent me a thing. Their show is expanded. They're on TV. Davidson Invention Group. They have their whole warehouse is like Disney World. It's like on a, it's like on a ride. What have they invented? I mean, or, uh, they, they help they help people a lot with some stupid products. You know, like, you know, like what would I know? I mean, any of them? Uh, they got some big stuff. You have to check them online. Davidson. Davidson or David? David. Davidson. D a v i d. Davidson, like Harley Davidson. Davidson I've never heard of them. Um, event. It's like event help. They would never pay up front money. Oh, never. They wanted so much money. I was like, you got to get money. Yeah, never yeah. pay a fee. Uh, uh, like my mother believes these things that come through the mail. That she 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 won a fortune, and then they want a fee for her to collect it. It's a scam. She won the foreign lottery, but she never entered. And and she how never did you win? <laughs> well, that's it. The foreigners were hitting our email in the nineties and in the early two thousands. They were hitting everybody. They were spamming like crazy. You got to watch the Nigerians and Ghana, exactly. especially. Nigerians. And, and, yeah. and my yeah. sister, who was moving on the other side of the world, in the Pacific Realm in Asia, in Vietnam, who still lives there, she was giving us heads up for all these scams. She goes, don't follow any of these emails. They train them to do that. People were doing stupid stuff, sending them $15. You know what the Nigerians do? They they, they put up... Oh, you're caring for this child, and there is no such organization. There's, there's no, That's sad. I think you're helping a, there's no charity. A, a, a poor child starving to death, you know an animal, the, and it, the money doesn't even go to that. This is just scam wrong. Over top of it. How could you spend that money just knowing you're cheating people? You know what they do? And knowing that, that UNICEF and all the other ones, that the Red Cross and yeah. all the other organizations that are trying to put money yeah. behind for these disasters. And, and this and this you got these people taking advantage of putting a red cross on. I see that. And this routine of yeah. of, of, that. of only twenty cents or, or or a quarter going to the to the uh, to the people that well, need the, the money and to these administration one of the greatest scams of administrative all nine one of the greatest scams of all as I told people twenty, thirty years ago. Is the four oh one K. When you send the bill out to anybody Overcharge them three, five, seven cents. 
people don't notice that or miss it. But when you have hundreds of tens of millions of customers times three, five, seven cents every month, that adds up. It just came out of paper last week. That's what a lot of them are doing now. Overcharging by a few cents because those pennies add up. The there you go. Right, Jimmy? For years. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You don't so notice it. Went and went, hey. Wow, you're a city. You're oh, a let city. me ask you, Philly. You, your bill, you, you're, <coughs> you expect your bill this month to be fifty forty seven. So it's fifty fifty two. Do you care? Did I notice? No. You would when care. I wrote the bill, no. You would care. When I wrote the check. So there, they got an extra nickel. They got an extra nickel off of you alone. And when they're skimming pennies, <coughs> you know, the fuel, like they're, they're making us think that uh -huh. it's three fifteen, we're going to sit at this. That's right. So it's going to be four ten by yeah. Why is gas the only product in the world that has nine tenths? But when you pay, it's even it's rounded off. And yeah, explain that to me too. And then by 2016, we'll be up to six dollars a gallon. What I said, presidential election year, you'll see it. Maybe you not. Maybe not because prediction. they say by next year we will be the number one oil producer on the planet because we're opening up our reserves now. We're still going to pay more. You know they they're we'll making the public You know they're that. making they're so. making biofuel out of algae and doing it very efficiently. Very efficient. I saw that. Algae. Yeah. I'm not saying this to well, be funny, but it's science. <laughs> and you're into science. Yeah. You follow sports science yeah. and sports medicine. Yeah. And you follow how they're trying to tackle the cancer. God forbid. I hope oh they yeah. Know. They have it licked they decades ago. Decades ago. It's so ago. easy to defeat. It's they a weak. It so many it's ways. a weak mutant cell. It's not hard to defeat any type of cancer. Right. It's a racket. American healthcare industry is one of the biggest rackets right. in the far and big pharma too. Pharmaceutical. Yeah. Right. Colorado and Seattle on the marijuana issue. Oh, that's oh, no big deal. That's great. Cares. Washington. Cares. Don't fun. forget Washington and but Colorado. Remember one thing. Washington. Pharmaceutical companies make their money uh, I think in the controlling, years across controlling the states, an illness, not think? curing an illness. An assumption? Who cares? Marijuana. That's what my kid says. It would bring in millions of rats. Yes. Marijuana yes. extract I mean, destroys cancer cells. It does many things. Hemp. You know, the best material is made from hemp fiber. Paper. Yeah, better than cotton. Rope, rope is hemp. Uh, yeah, blows money. away cotton. Yeah. Blows away. Well, cotton. Blows cotton. away cotton. Money. But you could make it out of marijuana. They'd save millions. Oh, yeah. Literally. No, but they actually have destroyed cancer cells with, with extract of uh, marijuana. They'll find it. No, they've had it. They've, they've got it. it. They've got it. Look, it's look. sad that all these people are getting killed by it. That's the government right doesn't point. care. Remember what my friend, the producer in Hollywood, told me? Do you? Now repeat it. Oh, his son is a scientist at one of these Stanford University think tanks. Now this gentleman has passed. He's a, he was 80-something when he told me this when I lived in Ridgewood. His son said, Dad, we've got the serum to make people live to two, three hundred years. I believe it. We were visited by men in suits, showed their badges, said you're to put this away in your vault and you're to tell no one. They were dead serious. They started to leave. The last man at the door stopped and turned around and said to him, his son, it's amazing how entire families can just disappear. Yeah. Meaning, you meaning you open your mouth, we'll wipe your whole family out. Yeah. They, he said they threatened us, but he said I'll never forget him. He said, he said Billy, my son swore. It's such a simple formula. It's not that hard. Yeah. Let's say we're playing around and we got the slide and we're looking at the cell in a, in a, in a, in a, in a microscope. And we're old. And we're looking at it. We're going, yeah, we're going to try this today. I'm going to try a little bit of an acid thing just to see if it dissolves. Well, and then I'm going to break it down a little bit. And make it dilute. Yeah. And then I'm going to play around with but, other things. But then I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going through the element chart. Look, look, look at how now that's how they just got the reality. <coughs> but look, if you have something they got good. mixed into the cell, they said, let's yeah. zap it with the ums on the other side of the element chart. We all know the element chart. That's what we have to work well, with. If you have something good that works. Now we have... Uh, look, who's go, look who's going to come after you to stop you. Now we, we have... Stop you. Look now at we, a simple thing like a car yeah. manufacturers. Who was a car guy that drove... Oh, Jeff Bridges played him in the movie. Oh, uh... uh uh, what um, car? What car was that? Tucker? Tucker. Had a great car. The big three or whatever forced him out of with, uh-uh, we don't want you to do this. So whatever you come out with, possibly, you're, going, you to, you're going to hit a lot of roadblocks. Yeah. 
Because a lot of the bigger, bigger corporations, the lobbyists and government, don't want this. They don't want to make your life better. And the same thing. If you they want to make money. A way to, to make this as a part to something else. And that's what it's all about. It's break, not breaking this down again. But well, let's make something else out of it. You know they have poly... Let's, let's make a cut here, a cut here, yeah. and make it a kid's whistle. They have polypropylene. You know, but let's put a ball in there. No, I prefer a kazoo. A <laughs> kazoo. They have, poly, they, have, they have a light polypropylene. But you know what I'm getting. Yeah, um, yeah they, won't like it. they won't like it. I'm listening to you. Now they have a light, there's a company named Cold Steel, named Cold Steel, they have a polypropylene walking stick that you can shatter a cinder block with and it's lightweight. You can, sh just one whack and you can shatter a cinder block made of polypropylene. But, but, uh, the odds are you, want them to be able to but the odds are you won't want to shatter a stick. What good is it having it that strong? It just will, will last forever is the point or what? Durability, uh, a lot of them are sold as weapons. Yeah. Hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons. Plastic guns. You have a you have a uh, a walking stick. Let's say you're a senior and you need a little help. You got a walking stick. Looks just like a Irish. Looks just like a shillelagh. Yeah. That's lightweight. That will last probably for generations. So imagine if that material. And then material, you can hit somebody and, and kill. Them. Well, what if you made that took the material, made swords out of it or knives? They have a sword inside. They have walking well, it does have one. Well, some of them you unscrew it and there's a long sword. But made out of the same material that won't break. You know, that's, I mean. that's, that's not a bad idea. Because they, the they have ceramic, they have the razor, knives. razor sharp now, ceramic knives. We get a week out of your recording. That's a lot, right? Uh, I'm sorry. We're think tanking right now, right? I do a show. Yeah, I do the cane. Yeah. And, and the way the no, cane. they have it. They have that. Right. It's called I, cool. I cool what? Cold steel. Cold steel. Uh, dot com. Yeah, I've seen. I've seen a lot of different canes. I do a show every week. Yeah. Well, then again, look at look at what also what else makes things stronger. Anything stronger. Why not make cars? Cryogenic freezing. And then, car and then you got carbon fiber. A cryogenic freezing. Why, why not? Why not make a Corvette out of this pop under a electron microscope when they cryogenically freeze something? They show you the molecular structure before, and then after it aligns all the the, the molecules, the molecular structure, meaning super strength. Many batters in the major leagues have sent their bats to be frozen. Uh, tennis players have sent their rackets to be frozen. It it, it increases to strike a hundred or a thousand fold. Just by changing that. It's just a wise molecular structure. Now, now, if this, if this polypropylene is that strong, if this polypropylene is that strong, why not make the Corvettes out of the polypropylene instead of the the uh, the, the, the plastic. You don't want to do more than you have to. You have like built it obsolescence at certain points too. Why? That, that that'll be honest business. Then. They're altering the molecules. Right. When they when they make it. It's not hard. It's not hard to move sports. molecules around and strengthen. What do you think pressure does? Hyperbaric uh, chambers. They said a samurai. It's like a pressure cooker for people or they products. Said World War II, the samurai. That can't be duplicated. Can't be duplicated. They Today. They said they have um, footage that the U.S. government has hit that it actually chopped the barrel of a 50 cal. They show one chop. But they can't duplicate. Just like, cow. wait, just like Philly. I, I and you know this too. That would be like impossible. They still don't know to this day how the Egyptians, number one, embalmed their, their process. Number two, they can't duplicate the wood or the finishing of a Stradivarius violin also. I saw that hundreds show. of years ago, yeah, and we still great. can't duplicate I it. saw that show, by the way. About they, they could not destroy or, or damage a katana, a uh, samurai sword. I yeah. saw that. Yeah. Or make it as strong. Yeah, that's true. They, they, they can't right, they make it. High-powered rifles are something they could not. They could not alter the blade it was of an ancient the, process. They don't know how it was done. Well, I, I give you a what if. Yes, All right. right of course, we've heard about. Uh, but we've heard commercial. We we've heard about. Uh, it's only at audio. We've heard about. Um, uh, uh, Attack drones. Okay. Attack drones. All right. Instead of uh, sending these attack drones only to the Middle East and having innocent men and women die, um, I mean women and children uh, die. You ever notice that they don't use attack drones uh, in the war on drugs south of the border? 
Are you right? I never heard. I never heard of it before. Wouldn't that be more practical to use attack drones on it? They're going to put. They're going to put five thousand in the air by two thousand and twenty. Oh, they're here. Well, they already have those uh, uh, um, unmanned uh, miniature helicopters to spy on you. I took a picture the other day of, of one. They have a what do you call? It? They have um, a mosquito. That's a. It's a robotic mosquito yeah. that can spy on you. I got one right here on my phone. I took it the other day. Well, you mean you saw it in the air? I, yeah. I went and took a shot of it. Oh, wow. Well, I knew what it was when I saw it, the light on it. It was like a little spy plane. Yeah. The only thing is I got a real shitty phone and I couldn't yeah. zoom in on it. You don't have the megapixels. Yeah, it's right in the sky, right here. Yeah, he's showing me the photo here. I'm going to try and zoom into it. Oh, it was at night? Yeah. But you knew what it was? Yeah. You see as I'm zooming in? Yeah, I see it. See the little tail end of it? Yeah. Let me see if I can bring the arrow down. Yeah. There it is. Oh, wow. There it is. You tell me, what is that in the sky flying around? Certainly isn't a uh, seagull. <laughs> and this was a much brighter light. And then when I got a shot of it, it just started going, it started moving away. It's definitely, if it was... And he was at about, mm, I don't know how many feet, I'm bad at feet. I want to say 500 feet. And if it, and if it was a conventional plane, no. you would have seen the bright lights Had on no it. bright red lights on it. It was at that airspace. It was over there. And I said, there is one. And two people I know for a fact were flying it. I just got and, and yeah. it was, I had a camera on it. Wow. Pretty pretty cool. Oh yeah. Okay, Mont, uh, William Morrow and, and uh, Phil, I'm on f uh, Facebook and I know this guy personally. What's your last name, Philly? Gaston Benucci? Scaringi. Scaringi. Phil Scaringi. William. Not related to the lawyer, Phil. That sounds like an Italian dish, like a shellfish. Hey, bring me a platter of scaringi. Scaringi. You're thinking of scaringi. I want the scaringi, baby. You're thinking of scaringi. No, scaringi with scaringi marinara. With marinara. Scaringi. scaringi with marinara. Hello? Phil Scaringi. All right. The guy is I a. Want the uh, scaringi. He was a. He was a former pro wrestler for the WWE. Uh, Ken Thiessen. He uh, was under the name Rocco Cipriano, and he he trains people. He lives in uh, Boca Raton, Florida. But he. He's got this um, sort of obsession with powerlifting and like in other words, exercise and working out is not worth a damn unless you can lift heavier than everybody else. Uh, you, you know that's a recipe for injury. Eventually you're going to get hurt. It's stupidity. Right. Now he posts <coughs> It's this weird. video it's there on your body. It's, yeah, yeah. You I mean, put too much. Yeah, it's even a, all of that is you're going to be hurt later on. Trust me. Yeah. Been in the carpentry or construction business. That's why they tell you to sling lumber. Don't put well, it on your shoulder. Because yeah. then you become you your whole. Then you become the whole yeah. structure. You know my opinion on when somebody says they they For they real fragile. They deadlifted something or they bench press 500. I said no, you didn't. You only did it once. Doing it once is not doing it. Until you complete a full set of at least reps. 12 to 15 yeah. reps, then you get it. You become a, ca yeah. a chiropractor's dream. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. You become an uh, accident yeah. waiting to yeah. happen. Chiropractor. Huh? Industry. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. No, no, no. It's, it's not for professionalism. Well, I mean, it's not professionalism. Get, no, no, it's not professionalism. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. <laughs> we're, on, we're, we're, we're on the air. I mean, we're on, we're on audio here, man. We're on the audio. It has nothing to do with the we show. We have to stay away anyway, from that meal. I'm not, I'm not done with the, the story. Would you like so, some skinjili, sir? Yes, yeah, skinjili. Yeah. So anyway, he, so puts, he puts this uh, video. He puts this video of a, of a seven-year-old man. Seven-year-old man. Bernard Hopkins, he's 70 years old, he's a, he's a bodybuilder, and he, with this Bernard Hopkins, is 
jacked up and shredded, you know, definition galore, and he's 70 years old, so what Bernard Hopkins does is he bench presses two and a quarter, 30 times, and Kenny is, is bragging about him, look at this guy, he's 70 years old, look how, look how muscles on him, look, at, he, look how many times he's pushing that Olympic bar, but he, he always leaves out one fact, this Bernard Hopkins is probably a walking drugstore, he's probably juiced up to the max, with steroids. You don't take you, you don't He's take lucky to be seventy. You don't take a seventy year old guy that looks that big and that jacked up and shredded, benching two and a quarter, thirty times at seventy. Just you know, normally. I mean right. the guy Make had to go normal like yeah. normal development, whatever. The guy had to be on the juice. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Far. look at that. You have sign that right there. Wait, 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 look at that. Damn, and you got um. I just, I just, no, it went this way. Oh, that way. You know what? Didn't I'm kidding you? Went that way. <laughs> I'm looking for yeah. a part. I'm like, I missed it. And Scott, we were talking on? about. Um, How did go? Well, first one, I think it was where I put the battery. <laughs> 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 you need to convert that camera into toy. No, I'm not kidding. Sex toy? It yeah. does have vibration mode. <laughs> that way you can just put it down and be ready to go. No, he, uh, yeah, we're talking about a subject and he goes and talks about Scion driving on the road. So, all right, I, I, I'll we say... Through, let's see, we went through R&D, innovation, electronics. Think tank. You always go think, think tank. tank and all that. Nikola Tesla. Talk politics. Stores. Ancient samurai. Next time. Fitness. fitness. No, I want to talk I, I want to talk about something that is personal to us, which happens to be people that have it have a tendency to lecture those that don't have it and make it sound easy. Like in other words, hey, why don't saying. you get a yeah. job? What's taking you so long? What's taking I, you so I, long? I, I, get I a job. Or yeah. why aren't you faint? Or what do you yeah, with all your like, 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 an old, like an old, like an old, like an old Russian. Criticize it. Criticize not, it. Not, not an old Russian dad. Let's say an old school dad. Oh, you're never going to amount to anything. Yeah, why don't you oh, get a real job? Oh, you, you are a piece of shit. You know, like yeah. old school. Push uh, you down, yeah. Put you way down, way down. It would make you this small. But then, so, but then, but then you realize, ah, that's it. All right, you don't, you don't want my help, and you slam the door and you jump over the fence. And so you're if gone, you have, and you never come back. So if you have dreams, and the guy might be dying, it might be your father. Yeah. Let's say I'm using my dad as an example because he kind of did that to me. Oh, sorry. Growing up at 15. What the fuck? So when I saw him afterwards, I, I saw him at Disney World. But then I needed a job. Who was he, Baby Bell? I need no. <laughs> when I was when I got a job at Epcot, I kind of I kind of needed him to get a job. Uh, so I didn't want to be too nasty. So you were Minnie Mouse? No, I had to get a job in construction, whatever. Right, no. whatever. Well, Mickey that Minnie. That was humor. That was a humor. And I was a like, feeble attempt. No, you got it through. You heard my You said hummus? I love that. Oh, no, I never knew that. You said hummus? I love that. It's a I love it when you smack that. Hummus, ground up chickpeas. Yeah, Middle Eastern yeah. is delicious. But anyway, it's ground up chickpeas. <laughs> no, but anyway, they, no, they talk right. down here. It's like, the, remember the movie Pride of the Yankees yeah. when uh, Lou Gehrig's mother with the German accent says, Lou, uh, uh, Lou says, you never amount to nothing to this, this, this. Oh, be, I didn't like, know that. She oh. says, be a doctor like your uncle Otto. Oh, why, yeah, why baseball? are you playing this stupid ball game, stupid playing ball with a ball game? game super. She, she put him down for wanting to be a baseball player. Be a doctor like your Uncle Otto. But you multiply no, that many times over. No, don't do what you want to do. You do what we want you to do. And that's right. wrong. No, that's wrong. That's you follow so your dreams. Choice, you don't follow their dreams. dreams. You follow your dreams. Right. Remember that. And Jerry right. Cooney was the same way. Really? Yeah, he got... It. The boxer? Yeah. You know, he, he was the same way. You watch his interview or no, the guess. other guys that get interviewed. They had the rough upbringing. Why, well, he was put down for being a boxer? A um, no, but he went that way because he wanted to go that way. Yeah. His parents didn't want him to go that way. No way. Right. Then he became an actor, a great actor. Right. So that's he George Clooney. That. Or that's I'm George Clooney. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or if you're... Uh, uh, <laughs> that in there. Nice. Even if you have a cherry, yeah, right. even if you have a, or he was a singer, Rosemary, he became Rosemary, maybe. a sex change. That's what it was. Even if you yeah, have that's a, it. that'd be politically yeah. correct today. <laughs> be and they'd be getting married to, yeah. to, to uh, George. Yeah, looking the two of them could get married.
yeah, yeah, you the look boxer, good. <laughs> the boxer and they could get married and we could make a movie on that. Well, that's why I'm hoping they perfect There's cloning gonna be all kinds. Of I want them to perfect cloning so I can date myself. Okay. Bill, but even yeah. if you have tremendous talent. There's a company that makes sure an obvious. Yeah. In Japan. And they animatronic it, just like you, so you never die. Really? And they put all what you have to say in that face. Well, it's like a statue. And it's a statue. It's it's here, and, and it works. And it just talks. I want to put his brain into, <laughs> into an android. Yeah, this Japanese I want to put his brain this. into an android. He's ready for prime time. Yes. Yeah. Like an android. Wow. Uh, no, what, he'll make yeah. anybody's face. So he'll live forever. Yeah. His That's brain in, in a... Well, the way my needs are, I think I've been living forever for a long time. You never so right know. Right by, 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 you never know. In another 10, 15 years, they might have the secret serum. <laughs> They might have well, the android. You well, you go for one injection, my knees are fine. Yeah. yeah. Forever, you know? Hey, you know, science really? Science nice? is rapidly yeah, advancing. Fixed, science is rapidly advancing well, so fast. you can't fast. go in there and get the surgeries yeah. and shit. You never know. Get off work. But, the, but the point is, you could have natural born talent. That doesn't mean you can just go out there and make it happen. Yeah. Remember what I told you? I told him this. And I failed many, 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 many times. The best don't always make it. I met more people that went through what I went in. The politics and football, the bullshit, and the guy that played ahead of us. You know, they knew the coach, his family, and their families. They sucked. They couldn't carry my fucking job strap. Before I walked out of the Jets, I two years. You know what they yes, told you Arnold win. Schwarzenegger, I think William Morris Agency? You have a funny name, you have yeah. a funny accent. Don't even, yeah, don't try. even try. Don't even bother. Well, that was a whole acting skill. That's why well, I joked about being you an actor. They laughed the loan out of University of Miami. Yeah. Acting school. Mm -hmm. We left them right out of that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll find out the name of the show they just had lately. It's about all the actors that are out there. There's like 27,000 of them. <laughs> well, no, 27,362. Whatever. So, a million, let's say. Or like football better. players. But only 1% of them get a job. Yeah. They're right. Little, they're stupid unemployment and checks. How many, how many Aspiring actors uh, and actresses. But these are some well-to-do people that did that had some pretty good gigs. The one guy was a cliffhanger yeah. in one of Stallone's movies. He was a bad guy. He had a 10-minute bark. Right. But he said he got $27,000 for six every week. But they don't pay that much anymore. Residual. Yeah, you still get the residual. Yeah, you do. Well, look at all They're the the rock pay. bands. Well, I'm not sure about the residual, but I mean, he didn't. He, they don't get paid a lot now. Yeah, they do. There's a lot of percentage taken out of their their actors' checks. You got to pay your manager. Another ten percent a year. Well, get a a with thing. You know, sometimes it pays And then by the time you get your check, it's like two thousand a week. It's not bad coin, but they no. only work maybe three uh, months out of the year. Yeah. And then they're off again, and then they have yeah. to almost get their own part, or keep. Um, what do they? What do they got to do? They uh, audition. Yeah, they got to go to audition. A lot of them don't go to auditions. They sink yeah. into the. Abyss. You ever see the Screen Actors Guild booklet? Everybody I says, try it. "Don't call." <laughs> don't no, they say, "Don't show up." You can't do anything. Don't you can't call. Even get in. It's don't like send your. Don't send your photos. Yeah. Don't do anything. Yeah. They tell don't you do anything. It's all negative. No, it's not like a job. You can't. How do you get I've been in? I'm trying to get a job for like, and, you know? and no so. one will hire me. I'll go on these. Uh, well, that's because you're sending headshots. Because they're like looking at me like. <laughs> yeah. You didn't get that, did you? Yeah. yeah. So I can't get a job. Yeah, that's because you're yeah. sending headshots. Well, we, we know somebody that keeps on reprimanding us. What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> Uh, you know, you can't just so make long. it happen. You can't just go out and grab yeah. the gold ring because there has to be a gold ring to grab. Yeah. There has to be opportunity. Mm -hmm. You can't make them... A lot of talent right here. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, Don't ever put us there. I, I have them on camera. I have them on camera. have been the Fred's for so freaking long. Yeah, That's but awesome. I, ha I have him on camera a lot. He just got... And, you know, he just eventually says, uh, no more camera. Not no more, just for a while. I got yeah. tired. I'm just he got tired. Him, so you know? now I got him. I got the order. What I do is yeah. I have a slideshow of him and his uh, little promos of him go by as, as the audio plays. And I put that with the rest of the show. Well, you can do all the editing, right? That's I have, you can do I it have, all. Yeah. It's computers. No, I, have yeah. the, I have the program. Yeah. I, you I, mind I, if I run Jimmy later? No, yeah. I'm going to go with you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everybody, let's do all right, anyway, thank you for thank you for a, gr a great, invigorating show, Phil and William Morrow. Thank you. You're welcome. Because till next time, America. All right. Let's get your coat, Jimmy. Let's go.
All right, we're here with William H. Morrow the third. Well, thank God, oh, thank, thank God, those other guys left. I mean, man, he he wouldn't let you get a word. He's a great guy, the fabulous Phil, but man, he can talk. So, anyway, um, you know, there are certain individuals, uh, usually right-wing individuals or people that have money or still have their full-time jobs, that find it easy to lecture and criticize those that have not and make it sound like you can just go out there and, they and make it sound it's so easy it's so easy to find a, a job or a career well just, it's so easy why aren't you telling me how to do it now? they never give you advice no they, they they're evasive they avoid giving you the answers they don't understand as i've said to you many times about ross reports where you don't do this don't do that don't send photos don't inquire or don't call don't send demos. So if you can't do anything, how do you do it? And if you have an answer, please tell me you, rather than criticize. You can't me. even get a uh, personnel. Uh, you can't even get personnel on the phone anymore. They no. they just leave you. Um, put you off right away if you're calling. I'm looking. For you. No, so they, 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 yeah, you can't get past the gatekeeper. No, no. They, they 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 only give you an email to yeah. attach your resume, yeah. and then you have to twiddle your thumbs and hope that somebody calls well, they, you. What does a resume, electronic resume, tell you about anybody? Nothing. You don't know what their personality is like, how they look you in the eye or don't look you in the eye, how their person, you know, how they act. Are they nice? Are they mean? Are they stupid? Dumb? They, they could uh, be a negative, mopey, sad sack. They, they could be lying on the resume, the email resume, too. Sure. How do you, how do you... You're like, I don't go for this electronics crap. I never have. And how many people, how many upper management individuals have the time to do background checks and call all the employers on every really, single... Do, really. They how really How don't. could you? They're so busy. They really don't. They don't. So, look at background checks when people slip by with guns. So, you know. And, and we all know that the bad guys always get their guns through the black market. You always will be able to. So, so gun, gun control, control is, or not, doesn't really matter. What is gun control going to do? Take the guns out of the good people and leave the bad, the criminals, armed. Disarm the citizens of America. So you can't defend yourself. Who have, who have a constitutional yeah, I can see right. I bad people lining up saying, oh, here, here, here. We're going to hand our guns in right now. It won't happen. Oh, they, they paint a pretty grossy picture. I, just, I don't know what they're thinking. It will not happen. Bottom nope. line is that people get armed and you've got to take your chances. You're always going to have those that will go nuts, will kill wrongly, and it will happen. Well, you know, there's a, there's a clever saying on the internet where somebody posted, um, a bullet moves a lot faster than the police when you call 911. Well, yeah. If you have the right uh, trigger. Yeah. Caliber. In other words, you can't always depend on the cops getting there in time. And that's not their fault, they're human beings. But they, they only go so fast. It's not their fault, they right. Just, they can only go so fast. You've got it. Well, even the police are saying people ha ha People just have to do what they have to do. You, you do. And why in certain towns down south and the southwest, where you are allowed to be armed, they have the lowest crime rates? What that's does that tell true. you? The good people are armed. The bad guys are afraid to commit a crime because right. everybody else around you is going to say, uh-uh. Yeah. Here. Well, in some of these yeah. states like Arizona, you you can keep a, a, hear a gun on the dashboard of your car. You you're allowed to carry. They don't well, they don't put you through the ringer to in carry. In Texas, you, know, you in all pickups, you most pickups, you'll see a, a, a rifle mounted across the back window of the pickup inside. So it's there if they need to grab it. No. So. Or a shotgun. Guns are great. Don't let them kid you. Guns are wonderful. It's, in the right hands. Yes, right hands are So is a knife. Or in the left hand. So is a key. A key, yeah. I can take a key or comb it and scrape your eye out. If anything is a weapon. An ice pick. Depending how you use it. Like the mob used to use. How many people have been killed with ice picks? So anything is in a In other weapon. words, if there's a will, there's a way. way. If somebody wanted to hurt so somebody. Don't put all the onus on guns and knives. Really, let's be fair here. It's the right hands wrong People hands. are killing people. Yeah, yeah. I love guns. Yeah. I'm an excellent shot, but I will not go around shooting animals, and I will not shoot a per oh, I would shoot a person if I had to. But not a not yeah. a not a violent psychiatric no. patient. No, I'm not like going out to get mad and pull a gun out of anger. No, that's not my way. No, you can call me. You know, you've known me over 30 years. Yes. You can call me every name in the book, and you know that doesn't get me angry. I'm like, I'm sorry you feel that way. But it never that gets to the point where I'm you're going to blow somebody. I'm going to kill you. No chance. Am I that thin-skinned? Am I that weak? When you're thin-skinned, you're weak. No. 
You can call me every name in the book. I don't care. Yeah. I mean, there are insecure people that just can't handle the truth. Well, I you mean, can call me a name, so I'm going to blow your head off. <laughs> I mean, that's really smart. Now your whole life is ruined. You ruined his life, his family's life, your life, your family's life, because you're going to prison for God knows how long life may be. Yeah, you take, you're, 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 you're not only ruining your life, or you're not only ruining your life, it's, it's the families of, of you and the victim. You know? Yeah, so uh, the guns are merely a tool in which uh, bad people or people with bad intent you use, interrupt you. What, what is a, a tool? You could you could have Anything. an axe. You can have an axe. You can have a machete. Not even you can have a, a sword. A key. A what? Key. A key. A right. comb. You can poke somebody's eye out with a key. A comb. Scrape across the throat. Come on. Uh, a box cut. A box cutter. <laughs> A box cutter. Anything can be a weapon in the right or wrong so hands. If somebody wants to do harm, they they're will. Going to do it. They're look going at, to do look it. Look at all the innovative methods in all the prisons around the world, how they build and what they build ships out of. Toothbrushes, they sharpen. Paper, newspaper, they can roll up like, like a paper mache, they wet it and wet it, keep it, get it harder and harder roll. It's a knife. They right. kill guards with paper mache, uh, with paper mache knives, shins. Come on. Now. They have um, what do you call? Uh, uh, they have razor sharp ceramic knives now mm -hmm. that you can use in the kitchen that are undetectable by a anything, metal detector. Anything can be a weapon. I mean, uh, we become overly paranoid, protected. We blame it on one or a couple, couple different categories. You could That's sharpen it. You could sharpen a wooden chopstick from from uh, from a Chinese sure. restaurant, and you can sh you can stick it in somebody. Well, even without sharpening it, you poke somebody's eye out with it. Well, if you're strong enough, you can, you can uh, impale someone with a chopstick, if you have the power. But the point is, it don't blame it all on the guns. No, That's the gun is not the bad guy in everything. It really is not. Hey, the, bad, the, the gun made defend, defends this country, doesn't it? It also, so it also right enforces, or forces the law. law. So the right hands, wrong hands. There have been cops that have been sadly killed innocent people. There you go, wrong usage. There, of the there have been cops that have uh, abused people with tasers. Sure. If you if they're mad at somebody yeah. and they don't like what you say, I've seen videos where they keep uh, on tasers. Well, you've seen where some cops have been Taser. fired recently for pepper spray over pepper spray yes. on college campuses or whatever at subway stops. So why always the gun? You yeah, you, you're referring to protesters who are not violent protesters. Well, some of them were just standing there and this guy just went by and sprayed everybody back and forth. He was fired. He was fired. They said that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, he was spraying yeah. Um, a yeah. college girls unarmed. That were sitting, sitting on the, They were just sitting on the ground. Come on. That was Oakland, California. Were they, yeah, were they a threat to you? Let's be honest. Overuse of the heavy hand of the law. He was abusing now, his privileges. I gotta, I so. gotta defend them in one instance. It is Ooh, the cops. No, 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 the law in general. It is possible for people that are protesting to abuse their right to protest and be obnoxious, block traffic, block sidewalks, well, that's harass. Allowed, but you are allowed to protest. But yes. Blocking traffic. Well, that's abuse. What about rights. yelling at everybody that walks by? You know. Well, that's abuse too. That can be because you're threatening. In essence, not threatening. You may not be saying threatening words, but you're you're intimidating or scaring. You're calling them names. Yeah. You, know. you can't do that. You can't and you, do and that. you can't and you can't block traffic. You know, no, which no. some of the some of the jerks were doing that on Wall Street. You know. Well, there were a lot of rapes from the back of Wall Street too, oh, and really? a lot. Yeah, yeah, quite a few rapes. A lot of people said they were there only for the free food. So really, you know, and a to lot camp, of people, and to camp out, had a place to stay. So a lot of people just abused. Right. A lot so, of them you know, made. Really. A lot of them turned it out into Woodstock. They camped yeah. out. They got rowdy. You know what I mean? Um, that's Yuri, she's adorable. She is a sweetheart. Look at her. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi Yuri. Well, hi you two. Hi. Hi. I like bites. USA lost again today. Yuri, is that urination? I don't know. No, it's Yuri. Yuri. Uh, yeah, yesterday in Canada, know, today in Canada. I know there was a Yuri Geller. Yesterday, women. Yeah, so these these individuals out there, most of them right wing, that have money and have their jobs, just find it so easy to criticize and lecture you that they don't have solutions in how you can establish yourself in That's a career or find a job. Basic human nature, easy to criticize. Or to give reasons or or offer help. 
but they these, always criticize. But, but these people, any given week, can be laid off. These people with job security. Now where? Especially government employees. We don't realize a lot of jealousy, that hidden jealousy enters into this. They don't want to see somebody else do better than they do. Sour they grapes? Know. Yeah, sour grapes, yes. A lot of it is. They feel threatened, you know, uh, especially by somebody with talent who bothers them sometimes. It's like if you're if you're that if you're really great and and smart as a whip and have a great resume, and you're interviewed by somebody not as good as you, forget it. They won't hire you because you might take yeah, their job. They're afraid, intimidated. Yeah. Yes. So things happen. The human being is an odd creature. The human being is really odd. It could be a good, very good at times, but many times very destructive creature. So sad. You know, I learned something about about not to change the subject. I learned something about dogs. Dogs get they bond with you very closely, and they get very attached because they see you as a member of the pack. So do cats. They're pack animals. So do cats. Cats are social. My cats were. I think better than any dog I've ever known. I heard a sign. They played like dogs. I they heard were phenomenal, and, and they loved me. Yeah. They grabbed I, my leg when I tried to leave them, go out the door. Really? They grabbed my leg and meow, scream. They didn't want me to go. Spunky and Clyde? Well, Spunky, Clyde, Vincent, and Jinx. They all went crazy for me. I heard. It's how you treat them. It's how you how you raise yeah. them from a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they have, uh, um, the Siamese is known to have the closest personality to a dog. Like, if you get a male Siamese, I don't know about that. Siamese has a very... Um, but it has a weird... They're less independent. But it has a very weird guttural meow, unlike other like, cats. Like a baby crying. Yeah, it's an odd type of sound. It's like a shriek. And they got blue eyes. But yeah. anyway, that is it. And I um, I will uh, talk to you next time. Will you make more? Time, everybody. All right, Jimmy. Bye-bye. Take care, everyone. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. So you lost another another argument argument with the conservative, conservative right-wing Republican. Republican. He talked over you. He screamed and yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. He quoted quoted scripture to you. You You were were lost lost because you came at him with facts. facts. Nothing but facts. facts. And you you expected expected that that would 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 make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read Censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read Censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative, uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it, and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Hi, this is William Morrow. Are you one of those people who join a health club and after they have your big overpriced annual membership, you notice that you're on your own with little or no results even after all the promises? Then the website personal trainer is for you. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. 
So you lost another argument with a conservative, right-wing Republican. He talked over you. He screamed and yelled. He brought out the Bible. He thumped it. He quoted scripture to you. You were lost because you came at him with facts. Nothing but facts. And you expected that that would, uh, that would make you look good. That would make you win the argument, but it didn't. You know why you lost the argument? You know why you're going to lose your next argument? Because you don't read censored. Censored, a 30-year-old newsletter that shows you how to defeat a conservative. Read censored, and you'll have all the ammunition you need. Every time you get into an argument with a right-wing conservative uh, so-called Christian. Censored, that's all you need. Read it and defeat a conservative. Greetings, listeners. Let me speak to you for a moment about the foundation of our entire organization, Newsletter Censored. It was founded by our mentor, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman, in 1977. It discusses the five taboos of American life, politics, religion, health, human sexuality, and child rearing. You won't find anything like this in the mainstream media and the press. It reveals the kind of truth that most people are afraid to hear. Can you handle it? We are living in the end times, so in order to defeat a conservative and save America, you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com, click on the printable order form page, and with your gift to support this work, get your free annual subscription. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. Okay, we are back. Back on the attack. And uh, I thank you, uh, William H. Moore of the Third and Fabulous Phil. Uh, for the show, for the interview, it was very invigorating to say the least. Uh, I, I was, uh, I felt like I was uh, either Sigfield, Sigfield or, or Roy, you know, in uh, the lion's mouth with the lions uh, whipping the lions and the tigers because the, the both of them are real chatterboxes and 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 top of the line interrupters. They cut her offers. They cut me off. I, I had to really struggle to get my to, to have control, decorum uh, as a uh, as a host there. But it, it, we we got the job done. You know. I mean, I I, I was forceful enough to. Uh, uh, it's like a, when you're in traffic. You're driving in traffic, and sometimes you gotta like. You know, force your car into the next lane. Better be careful because people have died because of road rage. The people are nuts. Well, you and have they to will be, come at you and they will kill you. You have to be courteous. You have to show courtesy. Don't look them in the eye. What happens when they come after you? Some ha something happened recently. Recently, a guy calls nine one one. He's got his kid in the car. Yeah. And. Uh, this guy's bumping, bumping into him, into him for whatever he Sounds did. Sounds like carjacking to me. And then he comes after him. I don't know if he killed him or what, but it could happen. Yeah, it's, it's true. Well, I had, uh, you know, I asked Billy. Um, I said, you know, we were talking about um, the space age plastic materials that are super strong today, uh, possibly as strong as uh, metal alloys. Uh, we were discussing polypropylene. Uh, very strong materials now, non-metallic materials. So I said to him, and they're very light too. I says, why don't they make the Corvette out of polypropylene? Lightweight, high strength polypropylene. I'm sure it's better than fiberglass. He says, well, um, you know, when companies make products in the United States, uh, you, you have to have that built-in obsolescence for, for business. And why? Why do you have to have the built-in obsolescence? Because I know he could be, sometimes he could be corporatist. 
Why do you why do you need built-in obsolescence? What about running your business honestly, making an honest, high quality product and not lying to your consumers? There's a thought. Uh, they probably they make more money the other way. Well naturally right. they do. Naturally. It's all about well, Follow the money look, trail. If you buy, if you buy a six-pack of General Electric incandescent light bulbs, or Philips light bulbs, or whatever, Westinghouse—I don't even know if they're still around. But anyway, they burn out quickly, and you got to buy more incandescent bulbs. Now you have the compact fluorescent, and also the the, the brand new LED lights that you can screw in, which are great. Uh, which lasts a long time unless you get compact fluorescence at a dollar store they last longer than a regular bulb but they burn out a little too quickly for me uh, oh by the way uh, Walgreens sells a very nice uh, natural daylight bulb compact fluorescence for like around three dollars and fifty cents not I have better than cheaper than the Sylvania daylight I have incandescence that supposedly lasts for 10 years. Oh, you ordered that? I've seen I that. I have two boxes of them. Never used one yet. But I have two boxes of them. Well, you will eventually get... Do they get hot or they... I have not used one yet. How did you end up with two boxes? Of I purchased them. In other words, they were what about energy usage that they say they were good I have no idea but they will be installed in the bathroom which has a dimmer switch and you can only use a dimmer switch with as far as I know and that's probably ink, why I bought them with incandescent bulbs I'm not sure about the LEDs maybe with LEDs they have a you can fluorescent use that does dim yeah, well, LEDs but it's like fifteen dollars. LEDs are the most energy efficient, uh, brightest. LEDs <clears throat> is taking over. Compact flu fluorescent bulbs will um, be replaced by LEDs, but LEDs are expensive right now. Mm -hmm. And they even have an LED natural full spectrum light, which costs even more money. Uh -huh. Um. You know, we're you're looking at like around twenty dollars a bulb, yeah. but but it lasts for an extremely long time. But anyway, so Bill made a statement, you know, uh, that you know you got to have the, some built-in obsolescence. I says, well, that doesn't sound like an honest way to run a business. No, not to me. No. You know, so that was that. You know, and. Uh, um, you have uh, like polypropylene is a company called Cold Steel. They have polypropylene walking sticks. You can shatter a cinder block with it. It's lightweight. It's very lightweight. Uh, it doesn't, if it gets wet, it doesn't get rotten like wood. It's stronger than wood. It probably lasts for generations, it, even if you you don't take care of it. And it could shatter a cinder block. Now this is an ideal material for vehicles that instead of using regular plastics and fiberglass. But anyway, well they are using uh, plastics and whatever in airplanes today. That's instead of the the metal. Well, you bet they better use um, really good space age uh, high-tech plastics <laughs> if you're going to be up on a plane but uh, um, <coughs> that new Airbus or whatever it is has a lot of that crap on it mm -hmm. was it 787 767 no 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 it's not an American it's oh, the Airbus oh is that the asset the new supersonic transport it's not a supersonic new no. Supersonics are finished. They did not work out. They did come out with a new one, though, recently. Well, it's certainly Europeans. not for commercial. Now, what is who because makes the, the Airbus? What was the name of the uh, the one that was here before? The, the Concorde. The Concorde. They went down the tubes. 
Okay. They probably it wasn't wanted, viable they wanted financially. Too, they wanted too much money for mm -hmm. per ticket and uh, now who makes the Airbus? Do you know? I don't know who, but I know it's uh, it's uh, foreign European. It's big. It's, eh. Yeah. What is it special? What's special about the Airbus? It's just capacity, that it is. seating. That it is, whatever it is. I don't know what's special about it. What's what's the difference between a Boeing or whatever? Why you know don't I mean? they create? Why don't the Europeans create? Because the Americans are not going to do it. A an airline that is large and can float like a like a boat if it goes into the ocean. Did you see that? Like a seaplane. Like a seaplane. Did you see that video the other day on Facebook of the UFO hiding up in the cloud? Yeah. A lot of non-believers said it was... Uh, Photoshop. It was, uh, what do you call it, Ana computer animated, uh, computer animation. I have no well, idea. Well, it looked like the guy was right out there with his video phone. It or didn't whatever. look like, an it didn't look like computer yeah. animation to me. It looked like it was hiding behind the cloud. And then you saw a flash of light. Going and down. Flashes of light going down. It was like a Slavic language he was speaking. Whatever uh, it crap. was, it was unexplainable from my point of view. And my answer to the unbelievers that mocked it was, uh, don't you think it's, it's arrogance for human beings on earth to think that they are the only intelligent life form in the entire universe and I really did not get an answer from that you know I mean it's it's very arrogant to well, even assume. even even before that it still requires investigation mm -hmm. to see exactly what it was well not by the government because they'll oh just, I'm sure the government already knows because they'll is. they'll say Ah, it's a fake. Just like, a weather balloon. Just like they said Roswell was a, a weather balloon? Yeah. That's what it was in the 50s and the 60s. It was always weather balloon. Yeah, but anyway, let us sink our teeth back into these readings. Any any Scott Walker uh, articles no. today? Because, or is it's too it's too uh it's too, too recent. Far. It's too recent to come to any conclusions, right? A team of researchers from the City of Hope in Duarte, California has developed a speedy way to identify drugs and chemicals that can disrupt the balance of sex hormones in human beings and influence the development and progression of diseases such as breast cancer. Well, I could, I'm not a scientist, but I could tell you right off the bat what to eliminate. GMOs. Uh, uh, trans fats, uh, uh, reduce sugar usage by food companies, uh, a tremendous reduction in sugar. Pesticides. Pesticides, right. Because right. we uh, eat them. Well, that's the uh, monster. We eat them. What? We eat the pesticides. Well, yeah, if you don't know how to cleanse your produce, <laughs> if you don't do that, sure. In a trial screening of 446 drugs in wide circulation today, the new assay singled out the popular antidepressant parozithine. Yeah, a lot of antidepressants. Better there. known by its commercial name, Paxil. Paxil's bad. As having a weak estrogenic effect that could promote the development and growth of breast tumors in women. This is important because as many as a quarter of women being treated for breast cancer suffer from depression. Um, when you're finished, uh, can I take that article? Yes, you may. And have. give it to my sister? Yeah, you can give it to your sister. Okay. Yeah. She's not taking Paxil, but you know some. I'm sure it's the other ones also. Someone in the family. Uh, Paxil is what an SRRI or whatever. So. There are other psychiatric drugs that the person can take besides Zoloft and Paxil. A condition most commonly treated with an antidepressant known as uh, SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, including Paxil, 
which has been on the market since 1992. Almost one quarter of American women in their 50s and 50s, at 40s and 50s, are taking an antidepressant, mostly SSRI. Why on earth do they need to push Paxil unless they're getting a commission on doing so, these uh, psychiatrists? Uh, last summer, the Food and Drug Administration approved the marketing of a low dose of para team a repackaged under the commercial name Brisdell. Big deal. As a non-hormonal treatment for hot flashes and other menopausal symptoms. Non-hormonal? Yeah. Yes. About 70% of breast cancers in women are sensitive to estrogen. That's true. Meaning that the hormone found plentifully in females of childbearing age contributes to their growth. The novel screening method developed at City of Hope, described in a forthcoming issue of the journal Toxicological Sciences, also identified two antifungal medications, biconazole and oxyconazole. Yeah. Antifungal. As having an anti-estrogenic effect similar to that of medications prescribed to prevent breast cancer and its recurrences in women. Incidental to their intended use in combating fungal infections, those medications inhibit the action of aromatase. an enzyme that converts androgens, hormones, more plentiful in males, but present in both sexes, into estrogen. Less surprising, the high throughput screening mechanism, mechanism identified bisphenol A, a compound used in the manufacture of plastic and epoxy resins as an estrogen promoter capable of raising breast cancer risk. The discovery that Paxil behaves as an endocrine disrupting chemical may shed light on growing suspicions about the medication in women who have had breast cancer. A 2010 study found that breast cancer patients in Canada who were taking Paxil were more likely than those taking other antidepressants to die of breast cancer when there was a substantial overlap in their use of the antidepressant and of tamoxifen to prevent breast cancer recurrence. The researchers surmised that paroxetine which was taken by about a quarter of the depressed breast cancer patients in the study, might block the production of a liver enzyme needed to metabolize tamoxifen. The authors of the latest research said, paroxetine's weak estrogenic effect may be responsible, in part, for the observed reduction in tamoxifen's effectiveness. The finding that Paxil has estrogenic effects has implications for patients with estrogen-sensitive breast cancer who are on other medications. To confirm Paxil's estrogenic action, the researchers performed a further analysis that found that many of the genes whose activity is altered by Paxil are genes that also respond to estrogen. But the researchers said the assay does not show whether the antidepressant medication alters the activity of estrogen directly or by indirect methods. Well, uh, from what I understand, uh, thank you, from what I understand 
the drug um, citalopram, uh, which is known uh, commonly as Celexa, has the least negative side effects of all the psychiatric drugs. So I, for those of you that are taking a Paxil or a Zoloft or something of that nature, you know, please bring it to your uh, shrink's attention, you know, what you just heard. And he'll probably call you a nut. Uh, a, uh, a nut, a nut that stays alive and healthy is better than a, a, a smart person that gets breast, breast cancer and dies. Well, you know, 75% uh, of doctors today, they, uh, they want you to die of their method that they use. And then they have no problems. But if they use something new, etc., <gasps> they could lose their license. Well, they... Uh, because the quacks will come against them. The quacks... Uh, quack, quack. Quack, quack. The quacks, just like the uh, CEOs and every everybody in, in corporate America, capitalism, they're just bottom line motivated. All they really care about is profit over people and the planet. So everything is about profit. I, I mean... In reality, in, 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 a, in, a, in a free society that's running normally, um, education and uh, health care are supposed to be uh, free, not, not something you have to pay out of pocket for. So that uh, gives us uh, another idea that uh, what we have in our country, our economics, is flawed. Just think, Dr. Bill, of all the stress that would be lifted off the shoulders of Americans if we had a European style free education and health care and people didn't go did not lose their life savings because they got sick and did not go completely broke because they had to pay off a student loan just think of how much more creative and productive Americans would be if mm -hmm. they did not have to worry about medical bills and education mm -hmm. tuition but guess what what that would raise them in society the elites do not want that they won't you be, have to understand they that. won't be the drones anymore that's correct they won't be the uh, they will be competitors the lemmings they will be competitors uh, uh, the people on top will have competitors because people with true intellect and and talent and ability will eventually down the line, after they get enough experience, will eventually start their own small business. And then you would have a massive amounts of small businesses scattered all over the country, uh, new small businesses, which would uh, produce competition, which is supposed to increase the quality of products and services. Heaven forbid we should have that. Mm -hmm. Heaven forbid there should be they always talk about it, but they never go through with it because it is a problem for them. Competition in business means prices will go down, ah. product quality <coughs> will rise, theoretically, uh, customer service will improve. Hopefully. Well, if you have a lot of entrepreneurs flooding into every market, because if well, you... Well, the if thing you, of it is, you're not supposed to... In a real economic situation, you don't have gigantic agribusinesses like uh, uh, Con Agra or whatever. No, you're supposed to you have know, de delivering crap to the whole United States. No, everything is supposed to be regional. Local farms, local, local organic farming. Everything, when it comes to food, everything is supposed to be acquired regionally. From your mom and pop family farms, your your dairies, your you know organic uh, produce, uh, uh, you know you you eat things that are in season. You don't you don't get fruit from Chile, South America that might have DDT on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You you know you don't. If but those things also they just get too big. If if, if it's not in season, and they you, suck up. The you mood. don't eat it. Period. You don't eat it. If, if, if cherries and strawberries or blueberries 
or peaches are not in season anymore. You eat what is in season. You know, like apples and pears. And then eventually the, the summer fruits will come and become seasonal. And then you eat them. But you get everything locally and organically. It's supposed to be that with every type of business. Produce, you know, no hormones, no antibiotics, nothing. Same thing with your milk, no recumbent bovine growth hormone. Chickens, everything will be hormone free and organic. Free range produce, but local, but local. The big banks on Wall Street, they were all too big to fail. Vine ripened. Tomatoes. Taxpayers had to save their asses. Sure but not. all the small sure. banks all around the United States weren't suffering at all. Not at all. We could have let those bastards die and it wouldn't have mattered. But no, trillions of dollars, TARP, 900 billion, went to the Wall Street Bank. Wouldn't it be great if the little guy took his money out of the big bank and went to the the local savings and loan or credit union banks? Or state bank, like in North Dakota. They have a state bank? Yes, they do. The only state that has a state bank. Okay. Been working for over a hundred years. Let me guess, it's in Fargo. I don't know if it's in Fargo. Well, that's a big... There's not many big cities or big towns in North, North Dakota. Dakota yeah. Fargo's one North of them. Dakota has just been voted in the last, uh, I think it was a Gallup poll, not sure, mm -hmm. as the most happiest state in the Union. Well, the North people da are the happiest. North Dakota's. Uh, it's freezing your ass off in North Dakota. North Dakota, they're happy because they can't talk because it's so cold. Actually, because they're getting the oil revenues. Levity Bells. North Dakota, Fargo, North Dakota is also the uh, headquarters of uh, Swanson Vitamin Company. And every time I call them, I don't get an uh, automated uh, answer. I don't get a machine or I get a human being right away. And they're all pleasant. So maybe it's true about North Dakota being a happy no, state. No, that's where it was Hawaii. A year ago. Hawaii is pretty, the people there are pretty relaxed and laid back. North Dakota, South Dakota. I mean, if I was lived in Hawaii. Montana, Colorado. Yeah. Well, no eastern states that I saw. See, if, if, you, if you eat, well, Hawaii has a lot of great farming. If you eat local foods in Hawaii, um, it's fine. It's great. But I hear uh, foods that are imported to Hawaii are very expensive. Same thing, maybe the same thing I think applies to Japan. The cost of living is extremely high in Japan. And they really have to import a lot of stuff. Even their rice. Yeah. yeah How about well, their tuna from Norway? Well, you don't want the tuna. Get their tuna you, don't for want, sushi. you don't want the tuna from the Pacific Ocean because it's all ra radioactive. I mean, yeah. it's all ra radiation poisoning from Fukushima. Uh, you know, uh, Japan is a very mountainous, uh, volcanic island and, and there's not, I guess there's not a lot of ground for farming, for agriculture. New Zealand is very similar also. Um, yeah, New Zealand is small when you look at it. Well, uh, at I, least compared to Australia. A, a minority person living in New Zealand is telling me that, uh, also Australia is telling me that New Zealand and Australia uh, they, they're very, uh, there's a lot of uh, racism going on there, uh. bigotry, where they won't hire, you know, they'll tell people there's no job for you, you know, if you're, if you're the wrong color and you don't speak English very well, you know, this... They the, can't be in need of people then that much, can they? What's the, the point in, in them bragging that their minimum wage is like $17 an hour if... You can't uh, get a job. If if certain groups of people can't get a job. There's no... Uh, well, that always goes back to the same problem that we have here in the United States, and that's the fact that we have allowed the private sector to determine whether we can survive or not.
It's fascism. By giving us a job. Fascism is when the private sector controls the nation, right? Corporations and the wealthy control the government. Well, privatization is about greed. It's not, it's not about a better way. I mean, the Republicans will tell you it's about a better way. That's correct. But that's a lie. Yeah. Most of the things that come out of their mouth are lies, including Fox News. But these, these lame brain morons keep on voting them in because of their cult. Their cults. And, uh, you know, no religion. Even, even the honest ones. No religion. Not even whether it's organized or not has been able to prove that their God exists. So therefore, not one penny of tax dollars should go towards any religion and should not be forced upon anyone, okay? Uh, otherwise, it's about power. Speaking of religion. Yes. Christian leaders, including mega church pastor Rick Warren, Make them pay taxes, by the way. Plan to rent every screen in numerous multiplex theaters across 10 cities for the premiere next Thursday of Mark Burnett and Roma Downey's upcoming Jesus film, Son of God. Uh, and uh, may I ask, what is so special about this Jesus film? The unusual move reflects the confidence Christian leaders have in Burnett and Downey's work in the wake of the Bible, a hit miniseries on the History Channel. I wonder how accurate this, this miniseries is going to be. The Son of God, an adaptation from the Bible series, opens in theaters nationwide the day after the premiere. Let me guess. The, the man, the actor who plays Jesus, is very much Caucasian. Many religious leaders are citing the movie as a natural opportunity to evangelize. Warren may have a vested interest in the film, since he wrote a curriculum tied to the movie and published by Lifeway Christian Resources. Cinemark Theatres is scheduling a few large-scale buyouts for next Thursday. The interest level for meetings, events, and screenings and buyouts seems to be on par with that of a major blockbuster, tentpole, or franchise movies, said Meredith. The couple behind the show, producer Burnett and former Touched by an Angel, Star Downey have enlisted interdenominational support from religious leaders, including Texas mega church pastor T.D. Jakes, T.D. Jerks, and Roman Catholic Archbishop Jose Gomez. Go go Gomez of Los Angeles. Let me guess, they're they're right wing fundamentalists. They are cultists. Cultists. Calling themselves Christian, but not obeying Christ. Yeah, let's let's just call them cultists from now on, because they're not. If you don't if you don't go by what's in the Bible, I called them counterfeit Christian. Counterfeit Christian, yeah. Well, a phony Christian is is a is a, is a cultist. It's a cult. If it's if if it doesn't if it's not in the Bible, it's a lie. If it's a lie, then it's a cult. The couple, couple have also tapped Compassion International, a large evangelical relief organization to distribute tickets to churches. That's Compassion International? It's not, it's not giving money to poor starving children? That's Compassion to them. Okay. The couple are close <sighs> with Houston megachurch leaders Joel and Victoria Austin. The nauseating, saccharine, sweet, smiling Joel Olstein, the prosperity preacher. Oh, man. Let me guess. He's not paying his fair share in taxes who, either. Who flew to Morocco to see the filming and has bought 8,000 tickets to distribute. And not one of them sent a penny 
to feed starving children. Burnett, who has produced shows like Survivor, The Voice, and Shark Tank, said he's never seen a buyout before. There aren't many things... Oh, CeeLo is not going to be on The Voice anymore, okay? In case you wondered, I know. Who's that? The big black guy who sits in the one chair on The uh, Voice of and what? judges. Judges the singers and etc. I, I haven't you watched have not that watched show. Well, then how do I, 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 what am I talking about here? In a long, long time. Well, CeeLo has been in the chair for a long because time. Because a lot of the contestants sound the same. Oh, jeez. Same style. To me, a, a real singer is able to hold a note. Not sh shout, scream, or sing ghetto. There aren't many things that could garner this kind of support, Burnett said. People are going to watch the movie collectively in community. After Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ made $612 million. Doesn't surprise me. Observers expected to see more films about Jesus. Uh, Several upcoming Bible-related films are in the pipeline. How accurate are these films? LD Entertainment is backing the upcoming film, <clears throat> Resurrection. A drama set immediately after Jesus' death. Let me guess, because Easter is uh, approaching. Coming. 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 American Trademark Pictures is set to release The Resurrection of the Christ. And <sighs> the non-profit In Jesus Name Productions is planning to release a film on the life of Jesus called The Messiah. Well, I'll probably have uh, the usual Easter dinner this year. My sister generally makes a, a very large, very heavy, very deep dish homemade lasagna. Pizza? Deep dish pizza? Let me finish. Jeez. All these guys I know are all interrupters. Coitus interrupters. Coitus interrupters. No, lasagna. Let me finish. She makes a humongous, a humongous lasagna. Sometimes a toiky, sometimes or a, a baked ham. You know, a honey glazed ham with cloves and pineapples, uh, and other things. You know, uh, my favorite. One of my favorite is the. Um, um, she sometimes puts out trays of catered uh, uh, prosciutto Come and. What? Again, he's interrupting me. Prosciutto and fresh mozzarella sandwiches on Italian, uh, like a Kaiser roll with a roasted pepper. See, si, Kyle. The Kaiser roll, okay. yeah, see, si, Kyle. No, uh, uh, you can't beat that prosciutto, man, and, and fresh mozzarella. You know, the white, the white mozzarella. Delicious sandwich. <coughs> anyway, let's back to the reading before I get too hungry. Oh, jeez. Good thing I ate already, huh? Huh? I, I eat all I eat all the time. Mm. I'm like a hummingbird. I'm so uh, I'm so busy and so wired. You know, the I, I, people I, of New Jersey are paying five lawyers as much as six hundred and fifty bucks an hour for the governor to investigate his own office activities related to the George Washington Bridge issue. Wow. Wow. Combined, that's $3,250 per hour, $26,000 per day, $130,000 per week, and $520,000 per month. You mean these bloodsuckers blood want $650 per hour each? And guess who's paying for that? What is so special about these abogados? Well, they're investigating the problem from Mr. Christie's point of view. And, and guess who's paying for it? Who's paying for it? The taxpayer. Lovely. Whatever comes out of the uh, these politicians' pockets, I like to know. 
Nothing. Nothing. Keep doing the math and extrapolating the costs. That is an obscene price to pay for a faux investigation meant to look like a fact-finding mission within the governor's inner circle. He always sends the bill to the New Jersey taxpayers. Why is outside counsel even required? If the governor didn't know or can't get to the bottom of what his own people were up to without bringing in outside counsel to perform an investigation, he is not fit to be governor. And when tax dollars go to help the poor, they get all upset. Ooh. Republicans get all upset. They get furious about it. They have, a, they have a, a heart attack if you help the poor with tax dollars. But they can mooch. They can mooch. They See, can free now love. you're understanding how our, our, our country moves. That's exactly Bowel what it is. movement is what it is. It, it's it's, it's okay for the elites to move. It's hypocrisy. They well, can that's mooch. only one of the small sins they that can, they committed. They can mooch. Do they say any of this on MSNBC, MSNBC, by the way, about how they are the freeloaders and the moochers? No. That figures. Rachel Maddow yeah. is worth $20 million, yeah. and nobody's going to tell me a person has a net worth of $20 million by acquiring this money honestly, ethically. And and uh, you know uh, in, well, in, in a besides, liberal way. And besides, she wants to keep that going. Well, so she, therefore and she must be a corporatist. <coughs> Excuse me. God bless you. Gee, she wants to keep that going, keep her job, and etc. So therefore, she can only go so far. So calling I don't care how liberal the station claims to be. So calling them out and um, saying that uh, hey. They're, they're the biggest moochers of all. They're the biggest freeloaders exactly. of all. It's not being done on MSNBC. It ain't being done anywhere. Now, Billy Morrow says that the most unbiased is a CNN. I don't know how That's you agree. That's not true. Not true. The all, most unbiased is a foreign country. Much like the BBC or Al Jazeera. Now, they heard the BBC is, is be leaning towards corporatism. Yes, they are. Because of that Tony Blair crap. Jerk so, in other there. words, uh, MSNBC is uh, they're 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 they want ratings, they want people to watch because they have sponsors, but they're not going over that hurdle that they need to go over. Yeah, like well, but like but a, like is. a Jesse Ventura's off the grid or a Gary No a Gary No program, they're not going that extra mile and jumping that that hurdle because they're not independent enough. Because they're not independent. You can only have the truth coming from an independent, and I don't mean an independent in the sense of a party. I'm talking about a person. So there's, to become independent, so there's, a person needs to be financially independent. He needs to be able to not be beholden to anyone who can pull the rug out from under him when he opens his freaking mouth. So Ed Schultz and Rachel Maddow on MSNBC have to kowtow to the uh, st upper station sponsors, sponsors, which is corporations, and the uh, upper echelon of MSNBC, the uh, upper executive management they they cannot reveal everything that's correct like an alex jones uh, infowars can or a jesse ventura uh, from off the grid or a gary no from the progressive radio network they cannot do what they do because no they can't they are not as not as big a corporate horror as a fox news correct em employee but still a corporate horror Nonetheless. Nonetheless. The circumstances don't seem very plausible or believable. Governor Christie promotes himself as a hands-on manager. Yeah, he's, so, he's hands-on when it comes to his meals. So why wasn't he hands-on when, when the Fort Lee gridlock was evidently ordered? His meals, get it? And why can't he be hands-on? and get to the bottom of what his own people were up to 
It's all theater. And the taxpayers are picking up the bill. I would be, I would have to say that this is will this will this article will probably be the primary focus of this week's progressive discussions along with the incompetent cronyism. This mm. this is a very important article which really reveals what's going on today in America politically and, and when you're done could you please read the name of the gentleman who or the woman who Gary McDonald no relation to Ronald to Ronald or the the, the, the owners of McDonald's Gary McDonald Gary McDonald uh, where where's he from Riverdale R Gary McDonald of Rivervale, New Jersey. I salute you, even though you probably don't even know we exist. <laughs> Correct. I salute you anyway. Outstanding, day. outstanding article. I applaud the Road Warrior column, which brings to the forefront the plight of the innocent victims of the George Washington Bridge Lane closure. Of everyday, relatively minor problems we all encounter. Yeah, I saw. Few are more detested than being stuck and sitting in traffic. Well, traffic is one thing, but when a person dies because the uh, the EMTs could not reach them, could not reach them time, because yes. they, you know, of tra traffic. And they die because of it. That's a very serious matter. Yet all these people mentioned in the article and countless others suffered greatly from the punitive actions carried out by vindictive, uh, callous political operatives. These yeah. people are supposed to be serving the people of New Jersey. And they deserve every single thing that comes to them as a result of their actions. Do you think anything will come to them? Only time will tell. I don't think so. Even in time. Given all the time in the world, a monkey cannot write do you think, a book. Do you, think, uh, do you think that the public is that... Uh, Spineless that they will just let this go by the wayside. Well, it's not the public that's involved here. You got the uh, legislature investigating the situation. You got a, a uh, United States attorneys investigating the situation. So what the people have to do with it, I don't know. What about the Democratic Party? Uh, what about nailing the Democratic him? Party voted for Christie. No, the federal investigators uh, uh, should be should get the total backing of uh, the uh, of you know all the Democrats in uh, the in federal House and investigators Senate. should be independent and not hold beholden to any party. Otherwise, how will they come up with the truth? You know yeah, what I mean? That's true. Not bipartisan. No. Partisan. No way. A hope springs eternal in New Jersey for an honest and caring leader. When my homestead rebate of $1,500 was taken away after Governor Christie became governor, when the tolls on my daily commute went up not once but twice. When my friends who were severely flooded in Jersey City had yet to see Sandy Relief Funds. When education grants are lost through negligence. And when transit trains are flooded through gross incompetence. 
The feelings of betrayal are palpable. Follow the lack of money and support for citizens, and that is the Christie legacy. I'm grateful to The Record, which is our local newspaper, yeah. for consistent investigative reporting and to diligent legislators who incurred abuse and insult but carried on. Yeah, they're, 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 they handle things with kid gloves. They're, they're a little corporatist, so. We need them now more than ever. It is interesting that what opened the door for truth was an attack against hard-working, tax-paying New Jersey citizens. The governor has gotten away with so much that he got sloppy. The wonderful state of New Jersey deserves better. The reason why you don't have better New Jersey is because um, your own representatives, your own uh, uh, Democratic candidates in Trenton right now um, and throughout the state sold you out. Simple, simple as that. As simple as that. The two-party system as a whole have sold the people out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We the people. So, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. so you know, um, uh -huh. about you know this the um, the thought. Or the um, the fact that uh, the Democrats and Republicans are just simply two sides of the same coin is very true. It's and very it ain't true. a gold or silver coin. It's copper. Actually, it's not even copper because copper is worth something today. Yeah, you're right about uh, that. People are stealing copper pipes from uh, houses and everything. Yeah, what would be a real cheap ass metal? Iron? Sounds good. Galvanized, well, nickel. Galvanized steel? I have no idea. I don't know what the hell. But are there are two sides of the <coughs> same coin, and, um, you know, it's just, uh, you know, you're voting, yes. A lot of people on the progressive discussions Facebook group say, say what I always used to say yes. You are voting for the lesser of the two evils. But as Jesse Ventura says, why must we always settle for an evil? Because that's the only two, basically, parties you have on the ballots. They own it. They've rigged it. They it's keep true. others out. They keep others out. Like you said early in the show, we nobody has heard of any of the independent candidates. For an independent to get on the ballot in New Jersey to run for governor. They have to be famous. They have to get, at least it was back in the 80s, they have to get 800 names on a petition and submit right. to get all, your name on the right. ballot. Now for a, a, a nobody, well not nobody, for, for somebody who is not a household word, word yeah, it's it will be extremely difficult to raise enough money and to get the the petition signed with the 800 signatures and heaven for, and, and not and, be only because he's not known or anything. And, and you're not. It's because the other people are in one of the other parties and they're not going to sign your petition. And then and then if you get the 800 signatures, you also need to be. Um, you need to present yourself to the public and you need to uh, be part of uh, a debate, a, a, you know, a televised debate. Otherwise people won't know who you are. You're going to be all the way to the right in the voting booth. Your name is going to be on the right hand side and people... If it gets there. If it gets there and people will not know who the hell you are. Yes. So there's a lot of uh, obstacles in front of you as an independent. now. If Jesse Ventura decides to run, that's a whole nother story because he has a name for himself. He's a celebrity in, in many ways. But he he's, will still then need money. And that's why he, he's employing Howard Stern to help to be in charge of that, help him do it. I don't think Howard Stern... Uh, Capable of doing that? No, 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 you know, he is. I don't think Howard Stern would go for the original plan as you know in running as a, a vice president i i don't think howard would, would want to change his lifestyle 
that drastically, and I don't blame him. But I think Howard Stern can raise the money for Jesse's campaign. I don't think they can today. You need a well over a hundred million dollars. And why do you need that much? Well, that's what uh, I think Obama and them raved in uh, Hoochie Go Romney raised last time around. Unless there's enough people in America that are that angry and, and are sick and tired of the two-party system. Now, forget about that. Forget about that. They're not. See, I know what you're doing. Republicans you're, never. You're going. Angry. You're going by. <laughs> you're going by the Book of Revelations in the end times that things are not meant to get better. Right. Well, what if? What if? Uh, just like the Mayan calendar was, you know, did not come hype. to an end. What if? The Bible is not exactly what they say the Bible is. Then you have to improve your life. What if? Okay, but you have to improve it even so. So, you know, to to just be a, a, a passive, um, adaptive supporter and accept to be a victim in today's society and just say, oh, don't even try. What's the point? Uh, what's the point? The fat cats are always going to be in control. Well, hey, if the colonists thought that way, King George would still own the Americas. And if I thought that way, there wouldn't be a censored out there. But right. there is a censored there out is there. There is. That's what I'm getting at. Well, don't ever get at the idea that I sit on the sidelines. Oh, no, you're not. Because a I am in the forefront. You're not, a si you're not a sideline <coughs> citizen. No, you're not. Okay. But I'm saying But the don't point is, the powers that be are much powerful than you will ever be. How did the powers that, uh, that be become the powers that be? You made because them Because we the people allow them to become That's the correct. powers that be. But there comes a point in things if you allow them to grow too much. Look at the story of Frankenstein, etc. The monster. Frankenstein? Uh, mon look at drink, Jurassic Park. Drink, good. Food, the monster uh, fire. Became, uh, uh, the monster became too powerful to be addressed. <clears throat> That's the problem. I mean, it just didn't happen yesterday. Listen, a group of people, an organization of people, an individual, is not going to make a dent. It's like shooting a. A grizzly bear with a with a, with a Saturday night special, Baseball gun. Uh, twenty-two. Yeah, right. A, a pea shooter, uh, uh, um, a BB gun, and expect to take him down. It's not going to work. But you got to think like the army ant. It, 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 it's going to take. It's going to take a massive amount of Americans that need to hit absolute rock bottom to get that pissed off. To well, say we've had it with the two-party system, we demand we're going to hold your feet to the fire. We're pissed off, and we're not going to take it any. But we were longer. close to that with Occupy Wall Street, and, and see what happened. And they folded like cheap cameras. Well, they weren't folded. It wasn't their fault. Their balls were cut off. Yeah, because there were, there were a bunch of hippies that weren't ready to fight. Because you you take. A hundred thousand people who are so mad that they train in a militia that are ready to kick the stormtroopers ass and are armed. That ain't gonna How well you think the stormtroopers, the big macho men that like to spray They're pretty well they like to spray mace in the eyes and how many of them are there? A lot. Well guess what? The, and pe the people fight guerrilla style. And guerrilla warfare style. The United How States much? Army yeah. is now allowed to fight within uh, the United States. And they will fight on behalf of the President. So the, the President so lied to you so a little while ago. Yes. As well as the NSA, right. whatever, officials and etc. They are and have your conversations from your phone. From your, they know every porn site that I have visited. 
I don't give a fuck. Everything. I'm scratching my forehead. Do I give a shit? What they said. They if they didn't. know what my hobbies are or your hobbies. They said they didn't. They, they lied. They said they only had the data. So what you're saying is that the uh, the governors and the president of the United States and the governors, yeah, where the protesting is being held, will be held. Will side with the corporations. Correct. And bring out the army. And take care of us. You sound like you, you talk. You say it with enthusiasm, like you're, like you're, you're, you're what proud of it. Is what say is, is Satan talking through you? What is happening in the Ukraine? Why are you, why are you showing what such enthusiasm the, when you say what this? What is happening in the Ukraine right now? Jesse Ventura is more right than people think about the two-party system. But he's too small. See, see, he's, he's too he's, small. He's, 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 he's disfusing Jesse. He's this fusy. Oh, and Jesse ain't going to do nothing. Exactly. What about we the Five, people? Five, ten years What from about now, enough for we the people getting angry enough I to just, make a change? I just said, we just had a big example of that with Occupy Wall Did you see Street. who what was happened? that Occupy? Did you see who was that Occupy? A bunch of hippie no, college the kids. No, right A bunch of hippies. Uh, portrayal of it. They're it wasn't weak. that at all. They're not ready to really fight. Oh yeah, I really want a bunch of college kids dressed like hippies to uh, to fight in a civil war. Do you yeah, have I really tank? want them as soldiers. Do you have your tank and drones and 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 and, and, the, and Gatling guns and etc. Because that's what's going to be coming against you. Well, the kid, the kids that are were at Occupy Wall Street are not the good old boys that are ready to form militias out west and down south. No one know, knew that those things would be needed. Because we thought... And therefore you run into logistic problems so, of communication. So we thought we were not being lied to all these years. We thought... We, we thought the United States was a great country. Right. God bless America and all this stuff. I, sh right? I told you about the video on uh, Facebook the other day with the that uh, program that's on cable about the anchor man or whatever and he was on talk show and telling the truth the United States is not the greatest uh, country in the no, world no and you should have posted that that animation I, on the I group did. on the group did you i shared oh, it you, you you shared it but you put it on the group no i shared it See, on my post a lot of people this is i want to say something about facebook and a lot of people that are members of the group and a lot of people that are on my friends list. There are people that have joined the group. Which group? Let's say progressive discussions. Uh, okay. And at all, mm. there are some people that make fantastic posts on their own page because they're so eager, maniacal. They want they want to they want to make their profile look so good instead of instead of unselfishly contributing to the group and the guy from texas the spanish guy from texas what's his name he's he's bald anyway regardless there are certain people who will post great uh articles great videos and but but they'll only put it on their page but they won't fucking contribute to a group Maybe. that's over 800 members Maybe it's easier to just click on share. No, it's it, 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 the right thing to do is to be a soldier in the progressive movement what and post it on the group. They may not know the procedure. It uh, is much easier to click on share. Well, you there is a share button, mm -hmm. and and one of the uh, selections of share is you can either send it privately. You can either uh, post it on somebody's timeline, mm -hmm. or they give you the option of posting it on a group. It is a drop-down menu that has those words. Uh, you know, uh, God forbid. You know, I have people that that like the guy joins Holistic Health Talk. Mm -hmm. which happens to be on the radio today, and he he's a new person, and I welcome him, and he says. What's this group about? I tell them, click on the word about. It's in the, it's in the upper right hand side. Click on about. I'm not gonna hold them by the hand and like like friggin' um, uh, 
Richard Simmons with an obese people hold, pet their hand, hold them by the hand, and, 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 and lead them, and I'm going to type all this information over again, or copy and paste everything that's already there, it's called about. You click on the word about and you read what the group is about. Why do I have to tell every single member that joins what the group is about? People are like that. That's how your friend Ke uh, Kendall Cart is. He wants you to friggin' spoon, uh, pablum, feed him pablum by a spoon, and and he don't. And same thing with your other friend. They don't. Actually, they don't like. Actually, they do not participate in Facebook that often. Well, there are people who 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 okay. are very very I'm not there every day. There are people who are very computer illiterate, but they don't care about becoming computer illiterate. They don't look. They don't read. They don't search. They're not interested in all that stuff. I you just know what I'm saying? You know, like uh, uh, um, the yeah, other guy. You know, Ben. Um, uh, he 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 refuses Kendall to join. Ben. Ben, um, uh, ben Cartwright. No, the guy from Newark. I don't know the guy. Know. You're a friend of the... He's, I know a Ben in Newark. Paul, uh, um, Paul, Ben. Oh, uh, what the hell's his name? In Newark? He, no, you, God he, forbid I know anybody in no, Newark. No, no, no. He's, he's a white guy on, on your friends list. Uh, he's very conservative. I mean, he's very liberal. He's very active in uh, liberalism and being a progressive. Um, and an he older lives in Newark? Gray hair, older gentleman, um, really not much hair on his head. I have no idea. Uh, you know, and uh, him and Fritz the, uh, Fritz the Cat, <laughs> who that's his profile name. He, uh, I don't know how he got away with using Fritz the Cat because you have to use your real name now in Facebook. Esmeralda doesn't. See, these people. She doesn't even use her regular age. These people. Yeah, he. They're very much uh, liberal, you know, uh, uh, progressives. They're very much into it, into it, and very intelligent people. Mm -hmm. But they don't join. They don't join groups or participate. Excuse me. These people think they're so fucking special what did that they Mark can't say? be a part of a group. What? What did Groucho Marx say? What did he say? Any group that would have me, I wouldn't want to be a member of. No, they just think they're fucking celebrities and they don't want to join any group. They think they're special. That's all. They Ooh. think they're too special to be a part of a group because they gotta, oh, they gotta, they gotta do everything um, on their own, and they have to. Uh, and hey, look, all all the great things that they share. If they're since they're so great, why not make them public and educate and enlighten other people instead of keep them on your own fucking profile. Boosting the federal minimum wage, good article, as President Obama and congressional Democrats are proposing, would increase earnings for more than 16.5 million people by 2016, but also cut employment by roughly 500,000 jobs. Congress nonpartisan budget analyst said on Tuesday. In a report containing ammunition for both supporters and opponents of the Democratic election year proposal, the Congressional Budget Office said gradually raising the minimum wage from 725 hourly to 1010 would lift 900,000 people above the federal poverty level by 2016. I don't think so, because by that date, by that future date, 1010 will be like three dollars and fifty cents an hour with the cost the cost of living is not going down the I was reading in David a Stockman's book the great deformation the real CPI of late and when you see a figure like like what would the uh, Social Security recipients get paid? 1.5 this year? Mm -hmm. 1.5? No, it's been up over the years by like something like 2.3 for many years now. What we're talking about, what the uh, 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 Social Security people should have got, was something like 
nine or so. Mm, even that's a little low compared to the cost of living. Well, ten, ten. Even if you, if you got ten dollars and ten cents now, it's not going to make a dent with the cost of living. Well, that's because you know, ten, ten is a compromise. It and should have been something more like what? About, what is it? Is it oh, Australia? I hate that word compromise. Is it Australia or uh, New Zealand? Australia's or got seventeen dollars an hour 17? as the minimum. Yeah, something like well, that. Well, here it should be something like twenty or thirty, thirty bucks an hour. That's what I'm getting at. Thirty bucks an hour. This is see. This is a pattern that's going on with Democrats. Why? Why on earth must they continue to compromise with? the right wing. Because there's not enough Democrats in office. Um, they don't own the House. Oh, I know that. And they could lose the Senate. Why, there's, a, there's enough... This year. There's enough jerk-offs uh, in America that would vote Republican? There's enough jerk-offs who forgot about the shutdown of the United States government and the 47 or 48 votes on Obamacare that the Republicans did in the House, etc., etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, mainstream America and America's poor. What you going to do when the Republicans... Uh, eliminate, terminate Obamacare and the poor have nothing, no food stamps, no health care, no Medicaid, uh, maybe not even charity care in the hospitals, uh, no welfare, no unemployment, uh, and really not much social security when you think about it. No, what not. you going to do when you're destitute? As long as they can ah. keep us fighting as individuals instead of groups. That's what they want. But the idiots care, continue to care so much about gay people getting married but and, and, and abortion. It. Oh, but their own survival, they're cutting their own throats. But the problem is they care more about themselves than Amer the others around them. Americans are very selfish. That's correct. And that's what helps the elite. See? And these are the people, like I mentioned before, on Facebook, who just want to babble with their tight circle of friends and relatives and talk small talk, and they don't want to get involved in what's happening in their country. They don't like politics. They want to talk about the music industry, uh, uh, celebrities, movies, whatever, entertainment, sports, you know, who's getting traded to which team. And all this shit. Who's dating who? You know, Entertainment Tonight, TMZ, Hollywood Gossip. They don't care about things that are important. Like some, some idiot was bragging about uh, a video that got millions and millions of hits on uh, YouTube. Like he says, oh, they must be doing something right. Sure, they're doing something right. Uh, if you're dealing with a, a declining society in America that has a total, totally warped sense of values, you know, just a, a, a deterioration of American society that would, that would uh, arrange for such an idiotic, unimportant video to have hundreds of millions of hits. They are doing something right. 85% of the people on the internet are there for entertainment. Not for education. And shopping. They want to play Candy Crush. I know a lot of people. Okay. A lot of people play games, and that's all they do. And uh, well, pe don't forget, internet shopping is uh, slowly putting the retail store, you know, in the boneyard, in the dinosaur grave. Don't forget, retail as a form, as a new form of shopping, news. More, it's more reliable to get your news from the internet. Well, I got news for you. And dating as sites. As far as shopping goes on yeah. the internet, it has a couple of big flaws in it. And one of them is to be able to examine the particular item you are purchasing. Examine it, to touch it, to look at it, to see it. Well, you have to know okay? your... That's why the store is important. You have to know... You're, like if you're buying a garment or a shoe or a boot, you have to know your size. 
you have to know the product already. If you don't know the product and it's a company you never heard of, you're taking a chance. You look at, you well, know... And that would just screw all new businesses, wouldn't it? Well, if it's a reputable company that you advertises on, on cable TV and then you, you want What about the ceramic knives? Then you'll be taking a chance. Oh, uh, see? Well, wait a minute. You know, you know who has it's all the... good for business. You know who has all the reviews? Uh, Amazon. Don't trust the reviews on the internet. They are bought Amazon. and paid for. Even if they use real names? They don't actually ask you to use your real name. Well, these people... They uh, ask you to write a whatchamacallit. Right. And, a and, pseudonym. Well, I mean, some... Pro I, I mean, Amazon's are, Amazon reviews are not biased towards the, uh, the company. A lot of them are very um, negative against, mm, that's fine. against the company. And but the as far as it goes, most of them are bought and paid for. Even if they're against the product? I don't know about those. I said that's fine. That's fine. Okay. But that don't, that doesn't mean that the uh, the reviews are adequate. Well, testimonial testimonial evidence about anything is poisonous. Is is it's just a personal opinion. Yeah. It's not. You can't prove anything. Hey, the product worked for me. What can I tell you? It's like somebody says, "Hey, I, I really love this product." That's good, man. All right. So what? Or this product. Uh, my hair grew back. I took this product, and uh, it's wonderful. Or the uh, oh, the, good. I need that. the penis enlarging formula. What the hell extends? Uh, promoted by Ron Jeremy at that time, he, and you know people were giving testimonials and or testicle monials. Testicle monials. Oh, that's right. <laughs> testicle monials. It's just he said, she it's said. It's flim flam. His word against. The other guy's word against the woman's word. It's a, it doesn't prove anything. That is, out of 45 million who would otherwise live in poverty without an increase. But the analysis also noted a downside. About 0.3% fewer jobs. Especially for low-income workers. Higher costs for business owners and higher prices for consumers. The study was unveiled as the Senate prepares for a March debate on a plan by Senator Tom Harkin, Democrat of Iowa, ramping up the minimum in three steps to 10-10 by 2016. Oh, oh them and this 10-10 by 2016. The proposal is backed Shit. by Obama and is a keystone of Democrats' campaign season plans. He He's behind 1010 also? That's correct. He's going to sign. <sighs> to highlight their effort to make incomes more equitable. But it faces strong Republican opposition. What would the Republicans want to pay these people? Nothing. Where, how they Leave gonna, it as it is. How they're going to pay their bills and, uh, you know... Um, they don't care. Those making minimum wage are nothing but teenagers, kids, etc. Okay, what about the others? There are no others. The older folk? There are none. Uh, Twenty-somethings, thirty-somethings? Where are the jobs? It's Where? only teenagers and kids, and etc. That's all. Where are the jobs? They say, go get a job. Where are the jobs? I don't see them. Hey, <laughs> they have their jobs. So, it's, a, it's all about selfishness. Now, why should the people care about what they say and, you know, how they feel? <clears throat> the analysis, which examined increases similar to Harkin's, immediately added fuel to the partisan dispute over the proposal. I put, excuse me, it put authoritative weight behind long-time GOP claims that increasing the minimum wage would cost jobs by forcing companies to spend more on wages. Don't forget what wages are. What are they? Tax deductible. Tax deductible! Oh. There's no more What was the pushing on the, the companies to spend more on wages? Forcing. 
forcing. What There's if no forcing because the wages are paid for by tax. But tax I thought, money. I thought, what happened to all these record profits that all these corporations yeah. have been making? Yeah, they're they holding on for the money. They can't afford to give uh, uh, periodic raises for cost of living, but they can have they have record profits, and the CEOs can make astronomical amounts. And, and, and bonuses continue, all around. And bonuses and astronomical bonuses and continue to have their raises. And, and the Wall Street banks take the money from the Fed and put it back to the Fed so it earns interest. So all this massive amounts of money are siphoning up, never trickling down. And they just want to pay people uh, chicken feed wages. And not care if they can pay their Slavery. bills. Slavery! They want it back. And not care if people can pay their rent and their you know, utilities and groceries. That is not on their radar. They do not have empathy. I told you, Rush Limbaugh says he doesn't have compassion for the poor. Now why should we value their lives? Because they're elites. Why, why did we, why, why did we value the king's life and his court in the olden days? You know, uh, these people that are in the National Guard and the police force and the military, many of these people come from modest backgrounds. They are, in a sense, with the, 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 the I'm sure they're not getting paid that much. They are selling out their own people. Unfortunately, there was a incident way back when. I would, I would go able, I mean, I would, I would go mutiny, you with, know. With Mr. Wilhelm Reich. Not by myself, but yeah. When he was involved in a street demonstration of some kind. Yeah. And the police were beating people up and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. And he confronted one policeman with his eyes. Why was that policeman doing that to his fellow citizen? That's what he said, or he just looked at him? No, that's not what he did, he said. But that's what the point was. Yeah, These people, right. like in the military, like you said, they side with their oppressors. They, they live paycheck to paycheck, just like the protesting people that they're roughing up. Exactly. They're from the same uh, uh, e economic world that the protesters are from. But somehow they are different and better because they are aligned with the elites. They, they, the elite pay their pay their salaries. They are in a position of authority. They carry weapons, but they're still representing elitists that are not their people. They're not their families. Are not look a child of an elitist is not going to be in, in the military or National Guard or police force. They don't have to do that crap for a living. Mandating higher wages has real costs, including fewer people working, said Brendan Buck, spokesman for House Speaker John Bonehead Bayer. Screw him. Democrats cited other studies that they said concluded employment would not be reduced. They said workers and the overall economy benefit as low-paid employees use their higher incomes to spend more money. They still haven't brought up the massive profits that the corporations have made. See? See, and yeah. keep overseas so they don't have to pay taxes. You see, they, they, they're not getting, they're not making a, a good comparison to, to uh, reinforce their argument. They're not bringing up enough facts. The CBO job loss figures do not reflect the overall consensus view of economists, which is that raising the minimum wage has little or no negative effect on employment. The report noted that although a minimum wage increase might encourage some businesses to trim the number of low-paid workers, other firms might react by getting higher productivity from their workers or see savings because of reduced turnover. 
You know, anytime you, you hear an economist interviewed, they do the same thing that the MSNBC people do. They, they, they give you their opinion, but they hold back on all of the truth. That's they hold back their, their spineless... Wi economics is not an accurate science. It is not even a science. That's why. It, it doesn't, it, it, economics does not f ever seem to focus on a person being directly responsible for something. It's always like a domino effect. You they know, make it you, into formulas, yeah. etc. <coughs> and they're computer models. Yeah, they don't like mention what you it's were talking real. about. The system is rigged. Right. It's rigged by the elitist. They pay people off. Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. You know they don't. Economists never c just come clean and say that. Uh, a president never comes clean and says that in a State of the Union address. Are we that, or do we have time for this one? What, what time do we got? I don't know. This one might take a lot of discussion. Uh, yeah. I think that uh, we better. Mm, in other words, is it a big reading? Or it's just a lot it's of a big discussion. Reading and it's discussion. You you wanna. It is something that can hold. Okay. It, it, you wanna find a smaller one. There's not a smaller one about it. No, I mean another one. It's about one. charges, no charges, in depth of snake handling pastor. Oh yeah, that was in the news recently. Yeah. Uh, the cult. Uh, you know what? Um, Let's let's just, I mean, read it, and uh, our comments will be summarized. You, or do you want to just grab another one? What? Wanna, do you wanna, we got another one to do? No, I mean, do you, did you run out of readings? No. Well, just grab another I'm reading. I'm just talking about this is something well, that may take... Twenty well then, minutes. Well, then let's let's save it for next time. No kidding. Yeah, that's what I said. Then grab another one. What do you think? Grab another. You thought I meant grab a, a snake? No. <laughs> grab another the, reading. Another one is going to be just as long. Maybe not. Well, discussion-wise, but. Well, uh, then grab another one. <coughs> well, here's another one that is. Uh, let me just see if this is a smallie. Yeah, I mean, nothing whimsical. Hey, smaller, but yeah, you this here. Okay, this one got. I go read this one right here, okay? Nothing whimsical. Uh, no, not whimsical, but uh, uh, frivolous. Uh, somewhat uh, historical. All right. It broke my heart to read statistics on how Congress cut eight billion dollars from the SNAP. Well, it's or supplemental a, nutrition assistance. It's program. infuriating. I wouldn't call it heartbreaking. It's infuriating. Thereby denying a family of four 21 meals a month. Oh, man. The letter made me feel bad about the soup in my pantry and the frozen foods in my freezer. Frozen food? Yeah. Yeah. I will be stopping by a food bank soon with my extras. Or maybe even a small check. I owe these folks at least that much. Well, this this person must be really rolling in dough to be able to donate groceries. Hey, she said a small check. She didn't say a large check. Yeah. So she's not rolling in dough. But she does have compassion. Yeah. Doesn't she? I mean, for people who... Unlike Mr. Rush Limbaugh. Right. Okay. And, uh... Wow. The letter writer quoted something that Dwight D. Eisenhower said. Every gun that is made, every warship that is launched, that's more like JFK. You said that already. Well, she's just quoting oh, it again. Okay, okay, My God, all right, man. Right, go ahead, People right. should, this should be in people's minds. They sh should never forget it. They should hear it a hundred times. It's an example of right-wing wasteful spending of taxpayers money exactly. priorities are screwed up correct every warship that is launched every rocket that is fired signifies in the final sense a theft from those who hunger and are not fed 
those who are cold and are not clothed, unquote. Eisenhower, a former president and U.S. Army general, was and still is a greatly admired man. And he was a Republican, too. The last of the good guy Republicans. He is the last, the only other president in the modern times who had a surplus. Yeah. Him and Bill Clinton. He, Eisenhower, was a a great man of a re and Republican, not you, Ronald Reagan. You would call Eisenhower a moderate. A moderate. Republic, but they don't exist anymore. Okay? So they, he would he would really upset the Republican Party today. Yes, he would. If you were a moderate Republican? That's why Mr. John McCain, when he ran, had to turn to the right instead of his moderate. How, how he really feels. Yeah. Well, Rudy Giuliani was known as a moderate, too. Rudy Giuliani is as right as they come. Well, he became very right then. When he was the mayor of New York City, you, you can't be far to the right and be the mayor of what New York City. What did de Blasio do the other day? He did something wrong. Yeah, he uh, his, his driver went through whatever, stop signs or red lights. or In other words, they, he was a, um, a scofflaw when it came to uh, uh, traffic violations. But he, he, has a strict, he has strict rules for the people of New York City, though. So in other words, well, where were where you going to? Strict laws. Was he like going to an important meeting? Listen, if you gotta, if you <clears throat> got, if you gotta go somewhere that quickly, put the blue light on. Get in a police car. Call a cop and say, "This is Mayor De Blasio, NYPD. I gotta be somewhere really quick." You think you can get me there? <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'll get you there. And put the siren on if you got to do that. You know, I mean, uh, or leave the house earlier. But don't, like, don't, like, uh, break well, the I law. saw him walk away from the uh, press conference. He didn't want to answer the questions. He question. didn't want to answer any more uh, questions from the press. He right. said what he had to say and he left. Right. Anyway, Eisenhower is the kind of person. <laughs> hey! Go we ahead. We need a true leader. We need a true leader. We do need a true leader. Uh, well, Eisenhower, from what I understand, General Patton wanted to uh, continue and invade the Soviet, Soviet Union, Union and go to Moscow the and stop the there. Soviets. And uh, and uh, Eisenhower said, said no, uh, no, no, pull back, son. He pull said back. no. Yeah. In other words, what what was said after that news? history was if Patton would have been allowed to do so, we would not have the Cold War. And the trouble with the Soviets. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Exactly. Well, which what happened is they corrupted the Marxism and they turned it into a totalitarian uh, regime. Yeah, it was a long time since 1917. Yeah. What was that, okay. Lenin? 17? No, 1917, Lenin and Stalin and, uh, and Bolsheviks? were not around. Oh, they weren't? Oh, okay. That's what I just said. The, the Soviet Union back in 1917 probably was pretty good, certainly when, not totalitarian for when, maybe four years. When was the uh, when was the Romanov, the Tsar's exile or, 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 or chased out of Russia? When was the Well, before that, because that's when the people took over, the Bolsheviks. Yeah, they're the ones that I removed the, the uh, imperialism of the, the of the czars. Yeah, that was gone. That's why these uh, communism, socialism, whatever it was, Marxism at the time took over. Right, and but they never lost pro private property. They never lost the market. They never lost anything. Any of these things uh, that uh, the Republicans have been saying for years and years and years that socialism does. The only thing that happened under the socialism at the good part was that the people were in charge. Well, and the people took over the factories and things. Well, my, 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 my friend, my good friend uh, Alex, uh, a Russian man from, uh, uh, well, he's, he's from Odessa, Ukraine, on ah. the Black Sea, and he was there 
uh, under the Soviet Union and he says under Brezhnev he says it was like life was wonderful and under Brezhnev in the Ukraine we had everything everything was plentiful you know he says I, I didn't like I didn't work just to pay my bills I had plenty of leisure time to do what I wanted to see my friends to date I, I could afford to, to have a life you know uh, there was more much more than enough food over overabundance of food meat produce whatever uh, wine he says he, he had a nice apartment uh, he he could go to the doctor for free anytime he wanted you know and uh, uh, education was there if you wanted to go to a university you know you didn't have to pay for it he says it was wonderful at that time under uh, was it Leonid Brezhnev well I wonder if he would like what's happening over in the Ukraine right now no coming coming one uh, mr. Putin wanting to take back the Ukraine. Oh. Ukraine wants to become closer to the European Union and Mr. Putin wants it back. I thought the Ukraine, uh, so he wants to invade the Ukraine which is a separate country. Supposedly. The Soviet. Uh, but the, the Soviets sell it. They're not Soviets anymore. The Russians sell it energy. Well, there's, they a, have there's natural them. resources. They have them by the Galyuns. Oh, the they, they need they the Ukraine needs to import things from Russia Not because things called uh, natural gas. Because the in Russia, when you go west, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When in Russia, when you go east towards the Ural Mountains, and the closer you get to Siberia, there's a lot of natural resources out there. And one well, of yeah, the yeah, there always has been the gold and everything. Very, and the very and the oil. But the yeah. the, the Russians, a, the Asiatic part of Russia, the is Russians, very the Soviets, rich, were not able to technologically extract that okay. stuff. Okay, today they're able. Today to Today they're so. able to do that. Yeah. Now they supply Europe. They I mean, cut off that energy flow anytime they. I want. mean, I mean, Asian, the Asian part of Russia, which is towards the Ural Mountains and beyond, which I guess would be Siberia, I hear is extremely rich in natural resources. So they are exporting things that the Ukraine needs, so they got they got them by the short hairs. I, I understand now. And the Ukraine wants to join the European Union, but Putin is not letting it happen. Exactly. I follow you now. So they are <laughs> protesting yeah. and getting killed. Something that Americans would never do. Maybe World War Three will be started in the Ukraine. World War Three will be started in the Middle East. If you're a Bible scholar, yes, yes. You don't even have to be a Bible scholar. You can just see it from the way things are. Well, the Middle East is most likely always going it's a tinderbox it's always going to be in turmoil well so is the ukraine a tinderbox right now but that's only one country you got the whole of uh, africa up there in, in, in a tinderbox africa the, the governments there are very corrupt and cruel to say the least to say the least you have, I hear there's even corruption in uh, Southeast Asian countries. There's corruption wherever there's money. The, 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 third, the third world countries have corrupt governments. Much easier to get them there. Yeah. <clears throat> than, than a democracy. Right. But we got one too. It's just... So how the hell did that happen? It's just not really like out in the open in the United States like like it's not as obvious well it's obvious well, it, it's obvious but it but but people li don't people live in bubbles okay they live in their religious bubbles they live in their economic bubbles they live in their right. uh, 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 other bubbles and where, they don't know what the hell's going on outside where the people who live in these third world foreign countries that are have very corrupt governments they at least acknowledge that their country and their government is very corrupt they're they're smart and wise enough to know it they why know is, it's there 
Why do you think that Fox News and all those people thought Romney was going to win? Because they lived in their bubble. And that's Concerning why that's Romney and the, the voters and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's why we have bubble heads like Michelle Bachman and Sarah Palin. Hey, I heard the male bubble head uh, uh -oh. uh, <clears throat> from Texas is thinking of running again, Mr. Uh, oh, what is he going to forget this time? The, the idiot. Yeah. The, 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 the idiot that's like, dirty, dirty. The governor. He's still governor? Yes. Yeah. He's still governor. I wonder what else he forgets during the day. Oh, you say his name. Uh, Rick? I forgot his name. Rick Rick uh, Perry. Rick Perry. Yeah. There you go. Rick Perry. Rick Perry. What Ricky! Ricky! What a piece of work he is. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us for Progressive Discussions. We'll see you next time. Uh, when is... Uh, um, Mardi Gras and Carnival. It's on a Tuesday. Is this it's next week or the week after? Fat Tuesday. Fat Tuesday. Is Fat Tuesday next week or the week after, do you think? Is it in February? If well, it's in February, well, then it's this Tuesday. Well, Fat Tuesday is the day before the first day of Lent, which is on a, which is Ash Wednesday in, in the, in well, the Christian... Well, yes, then it's next week. Then so Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras Carnival is next week. Okay. Carnival, you mean? Carnival, that's Mardi Gras and other na countries that celebrate it. It's a carnivore. It it, it 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 stems. It's an old medieval European tradition, which is similar to uh, Halloween, All Hallows Eve. Speaking of the, stems, a, de a celebration of. Uh, of uh, debauchery and intoxication that happens before uh, a holy day, the beginning of uh Speaking of stem cells. Yes. Mr. No, Dr. No. Right. Believes that in the next two to three to four years. Right. We will have stem cells. I believe it. To be helping People with motor nerve problems, etc., etc. Right. Et well, we already—they're already growing organs, fresh organs in a laboratory with your. Oh yeah. DNA stem yeah. cell. With your stem cell. With your stem cell, they're growing fresh organs. So theoretically, you know, these germ cells, these stem cells, they, they, they can't die. Really. They are immortal. Immortal. So you can, if you want to clone something, you would, it would never expire. Oh no, the clone would. Yeah. I'm talking about the cells. The that cells. Bring about the other cells. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm they sure. I'm important. sure only the rich can afford to. Oh, to freshly. Of course. To freshly grow, a a new kidney, yeah. you know, or a heart. I mean, I mean, they're doing it. They're growing it. Um, but this should be wonderful for people that uh, are paralyzed. And, theoretically. Uh, theoretically, yeah, yeah. But maybe what will happen is the, the U.S. government, our government, our taxpayer money, will do the research and development and then give it to some private organization. If you let it... If like you let, the ISPs. If you let something get privatized, it will become corrupted. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, when you get to get a chance, try to investigate these new stem cell activation formulations that uh, are available by capsule. That's for the brain. And 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 bone and cartilage. They have one for bone. Bone and cartilage. Bone and cartilage. They don't have a nerve formula, right? They have some nerve. They certainly do. Oh, they have some nerve from not having a nerve formulation. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Say goodbye to these people. Ah, it's the low ego people.